<sighs> Hello, you out there in listener land. We would like to start by saying thank you for all of your Patreon support and all of your listening support. As you listen to this episode, it is um the 23rd, which means the inauguration just happened. We have a new president in office. So if you're with me out there, go ahead, take that shot. Go ahead, spark that blunt. We have an episode for you today. Not on that. I'm just saying. I just decided to throw that in there. (sighs) It's been a while since we had a peace corner, guy. Guys, sorry, excuse me. My president, my vice president is black. Boom. And I am too. And Melania is keeping Donald Trump's balls blue. Who? Bars, come on. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I saw, <laughs> <laughs> that. Oh. You missed it, babe. Wow. She had bars. Oh, that's not even being recorded, is it? Yeah, yes, that's everything is. Oh, well. No, it is. Oh, you hit start? Oh, I hit so the intermission. Go. I mean, the interludes. Oh, okay. I just let them know that as, they, as we record this, mm-hmm. we have a new president. Oh, yeah, this is the first episode post that in. Yes, it is. Oh, and you know what I forgot we didn't do? What didn't we do? We haven't done it for the past, like, two or three. Two or three? What you talking about? The home video hustle test. Oh, the hustle test. Yeah. yeah. I forgot all about that. Well, I, well I, I know where this one goes, but... What was the criteria? The criteria? Yes. That was, um... What episode? That was Miracle on 34th Street, right? I believe so. I do believe so. Indubitably. And do it to the beat. <laughs> yes, there you go. The hustle, hustle test is one. It has to have at least two black named characters. So it's me. Mm, yeah. Two talk about. They have to be talking about something other than money, sex, or drugs. Okay. And then three, they have to actually talk to each other. The one we did after that was Raiders of the Lost Ark, which failed. No, fail. Of... Okay. Next. Also, oh, all you want to just go through all. Okay. Yeah, Retroactively, yeah. let's go. Yeah, that was failed. So Raiders yeah. fail. Mm-hmm. Um. There's a movie called Slipstream that me and Brenda did that week. You weren't here. Fail. Oh, fail. Okay. Hook. Fail. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Fail. Fail. Yeah. And then this movie, which we'll talk about. So okay. every movie post the the creation of the hustle test has uh, failed miserably. In fact, actually. that's all bad. Because let's see, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Was there a black guy? No. Okay. That <laughs> had to like Middle Eastern okay. cast and shit, but no, no black people. Oh shit. They have people of color. There you go. That's, they, have, they passed the POC test. You're right. Hustle test. Right. Okay. What was that to that? Uh, shit, not our crowd. Fuck it. Uh, Slipstream had none yes. that I could think of anyway. And then what we just did. Uh, and then what? Hook had Hook. none. No, 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 no. It had the kids. It had the, the, the fat kid that was doing the, the role in the ball oh. and shit. It had two black uh. named characters technically, and they did talk to each other. So hold on. And they did talk about something other than sex, drugs. And they them. had two black kids? There, there was the fat kid. I know the was, fat kid. The fat kid that was rolling, but then there was the other little kid. Remember, he was playing with Robin Williams' face. He was like, there you are, Peter. Ah. So technically... Did they talk, though? To each other. Yeah. Mm. I don't think they did. They were in scenes with each other. Right. But I don't think they talked to each other. Right. So I don't. it's not a super fail like every movie before that, mm-hmm. but it does fail, though. Ah, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. No movie has since passed that hustle time. Okay. Will this one? Uh, we'll find out. I so oh, you, oh, take oh that. that's the last of the yeah, that's the last of the other. You want to take a shot? Or you want to mix? What you doing? You taking a shot? Or you I mix? didn't know if you wanted this. I, I, just I will. To get to this. I will. Ah, but I I'm see. just saying with this right here. I see. Well, is that, is that a that. shot or is this a, is that a mix? Oh, I that's see. what I'm saying. Hey, ah, hey, 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 hey. well, because this is the, this I is the last just... of the regular Jack Daniels I got, right? Yes, we're on honey this week. Yeah, still technically January we got Jack Daniels. Yes. Uh, theme music. Oh, and shots. Bow. Clink. Let's go. Video hustle. 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 Hustle. Motherfucking hustle. Hustle. Motherfucking hustle. Hustle, 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 motherfucking. What's going on, everybody? I'm Brent. I'm PJ. And I'm the Spirit. And this 
Gotta get close to that mic, though. And this is the Home Video Hustle, where we do what, PJ? Hustle, motherfucking hustle. PJ, we're in the last week of January. Yes. Last week yes. of the Patreon hustle, for real. Yes. Um, I mean, we technically, there was supposed to be one more movie this month, but we got sidetracked for a, w- a week. Yeah, so sorry, guys. So we want to get back to that. It's going to be the first movie of April, and I have a copy of it now. Okay. So okay. I'm very curious oh, to get to yeah, that shit. movie. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drinks will be had. Yes. That, that's why I just poured one. I knew you were going to say something like that. So, yes. Oh, fuck. He knows. I... Photo call. <laughs> shit. PJ. Yes. Can you guess what episode number this is? Oh, shit. Uh, come on. One, one eighty nine. That first PJ of the night. It's one ninety. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. The first PJ of the night. Okay. How come I didn't get this? Oh, you was on your phone, baby. Got to keep up, Just girl. Get <laughs> me out right now. Well, I'll tell you I'm what. I, I'll tell you what. Okay. What year did this come out? 2008. What's your guess, no, PJ? No, no, no. Oh, oh. Yeah, 2008. Any guesses, PJ? You agree or are you thinking of it? I feel like it was early. Like 2005? So, so you think it was earlier? Yeah. Right? The Spirits... It's- this because there's actually a spirit movie that came out before this in like the eighties or nineties. Uh, this version we watched from two thousand eight. Uh, hey, I remember. So she got that one. See, tell that. Fuck it, we're gonna do it all now. All right. How long y'all think this movie was? How long did the movie feel? No spoilers. Okay. How, uh, well, just how long do you think it? Was? How long do you think the movie was, PJ? You said an hour thirty. It feels like an hour thirty. Hour thirty something. Hour hour thirty five. For thirty five. Hour forty three. Y'all both were technically right. When we stopped the movie, it was at like one thirty-five, but the total with the huh. credits is one hour and forty-three minutes. So both of you are right. There we go. Let's go. We're on it. This is We're killing these it. These are good, guys. yes. Look at this. How much did this cost to make? It says two thousand eight. Two thousand eight, PJ. This is and this is after Sin City. Is this City. a big movie? Like is this? I'm not telling you because that, that's gonna give you that's gonna give you too much info. I can't I can't help. Oh, Just think man. post Sin City. Sin City was directed by Rod Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino, and now I think Frank Miller kind of got his name in there. I don't know if he actually directed it. I, I just know. know the name. I don't really know. Who, like, Frank Miller? No, I just know Sin City, the name. Like, I, I can't tell you. Well. If I thought it was. This is post-Sin City, I'll tell you that. And Sin City was a big hit. So, post-Sin City. Oh, so there you a go. big hit. Sin City was a big hit now. Think about it. Ah, 10 mil. 10 million? Mm-hmm. All right. Spirit, how much do you think this cost to make? Mm-hmm. That's the thing. It's got a lot of big names in it, though. It does. Oh. I'm going to go with 213 mil. 213 mm. million? One of you is super low. One is incredibly too high. So I'll give you both one more try. <laughs> I'll let you two figure out which. PJ would... One more try. Okay. One is incredibly low. One is incredibly high, PJ. Let's okay. go. <laughs> 32. 32 million. Mm-hmm. What you think, Spirit? 113. 113. This cost sixty million dollars to oh, make. Damn. Oh, like I said again, too low and way too high. Fuck. Okay, but the kicker. Uh huh. How much did it make? Both of you get close to the mic when you talk, please. Am I? Am I not here? I'm not I'm here. Just making sure. Oh, uh, you said it cost. It cost sixty. Two thousand eight. How much it made? It didn't make as much. It made sixty. You think it made it just as money it, back? Yeah. Me. What you think, Spirit? Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Guys, this movie was a bomb, biggity bomb, biggity bomb, 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 because it made thirty nine. Damn, fuck, super oh, bomb. Hey, by the way, yes, got lint in the back. Though. I got the lint back of my hair. Damn, with sweatshirts. Did you see it, PJ? Did you get it? Did I get it? He must have. All right, I'll, sorry, I, I don't pay attention. Like, nigga, I see like, nothing. I, I'm not looking at you, nigga. <laughs> we look forward at the camera at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Your balloons are still there. We gotta release. I'm oh, sorry, we supposed to release them when PJ got here for a bit. Oh. That's all right. We'll do it when you leave. Yeah. Goddamn it. PJ. Yes. IMDb score, something point eight out of 10. Do you think people fucked with it or you think they said it was trash or you think they said it was I right. Something point eight. Five. Five point eight, spirit. Two. Two point eight. Four point eight. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. 59,366 votes. Okay. Rotten Tomatoes. The critics, PJ. Accumulatively out of 100%. What do you think the critics gave it? 52. 52, so you think it was rotten. Spirit, yes. what you think? 39. 39. 14%. Damn. The critics did not fuck with this. Oh, this is after... Aha. <laughs> uh-huh. I saw that. What was that? Gotcha. Oh, I got lit. Yeah. Thank ah, you. See? Yeah. Look out I for I was looking other. there. Now, now I paid attention. All right, Let's now. Say. 
On Rotten Tomatoes, the critics said, though its visuals are unique, the spirit's plot is almost incomprehensible. The dialogue is ludicrously mannered and the characters are unmemorable. So that's what the critics thought. But PJ, mm-hmm. about that audience though, mm-hmm. they fucked with it more or less? About the same? What you think? 52. 52. Mm-hmm. Still riding. Spirit, what you think? 39. She's closer, but still, it's 25%. Oh. So, nobody liked this movie. Yeah. Okay. And that's why it was a bomb, biggity bomb, biggity bomb, okay. bomb, 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 bomb. It cost 60 and made 39. Yes. And Sam was in it. And that, Sam that was in it. something, okay? And this is Patreon mm-hmm. pick number 22. This comes from Stephen Izzy, Everything I Learned from Movies podcast. Hello, guys. I'll give you one guess as to why they gave us this movie. Because it has Sam in it? No. Because uh, it's a comic book. She's oh, right across from sorry. There's a person on the show called The Spirit. Oh, and man. the movie is called The Spirit. <laughs> PJ just acts like I don't exist. No, I didn't. I just... It was it was so that simple sense. that you didn't go That's for it. it. Damn, it happens sometimes. Ah. He's like she's not that important. They wouldn't the spirit. do that. The, the, the spirit. spirit. That's it's just exactly. like there's a movie called Bring PJ. There is. Watch. No, I if oh. if yes. there could be one day, and we'll do it. That's pay on us. OnlyFans. Fucking right. pay us. <laughs> that mm. movie's on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> go <to> xvideos.com. <laughs> 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 I mean, we're not. I don't know. I've never seen that movie. PJ, I would pay, uh, I would pay to see uh, that movie. I bet you would. I, I PJ, don't think I would. PJ, yeah, I got you. This hey. movie is directed by Frank Miller. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, it is starring Gabriel Macht, mm-hmm. Eva Mendez, Sarah Paulson, Dan Loria, Paz Vegas, Scarlett Johansson, and of course, as PJ said. Samuel L. motherfucking Jackson. Was Goddamn the right. Vegas girl? I Vegas don't know who girl? that is. I don't know who the Paz Vega is. <laughs> so I can't help you on that one. <laughs> of no avail. Of no avail. PJ. Yes. How's it start? Do you know? Pass it off to the spirit. Pass go. that baton, mm-hmm. dog. Um, the Lady of Death. You remember her name? Um, I do not. Laura Lay? Laura Lee? Laura Lay? How the fuck they pronounced it? She's a death the goddess. Angel of death. Angel of okay. death. Okay. It's like my notes I wrote ghost woman down slash time. I was like, oh, it's the angel of death. There you go. <laughs> okay. She said, I'm always with you. One day you're going to fuck with your girl. You don't know what that means yet, though, PJ. Yes. Hard cut to your man's The Spirits. Describe The Spirit for the people, PJs. I'm sure they probably haven't seen this movie because apparently nobody did. Um, oh, he's... Oh, He's you can always pass off the baton if you pass. want to. <laughs> he is the film noir version of Tuxedo Mask. Explain that reference for people like PJ that don't know who the fuck that is. Oh, you know not who Tuxedo Mask is. Look at his face! <laughs> <laughs> you see the blank expression. That means I don't know what the fuck is happening. I don't. So, he, <clears throat> he pretty much, he got a fedora, he got the long coat, and the, the button-up shirt, and the trousers with the, the red tie, and the dress shoes. Sounds about right. And he the, wears a, a the black, domino mask. Yeah, he wear yes. a little mask on his face, and the he Lone just white. He a standard Sounds white guy. Right. In that Zorro, house. the Zorro man. There you go. Yeah. The film Zorro. Right. Mm-hmm. Sounds there about right. Yeah, yeah, that's Zorro with like a suit on. Suit Zorro. You. There you go. White Zorro. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I gotta show you. Mm-hmm. PJ. Yes. My next note is action credits. You that's sexy Oh, there you go. Sailor Moon shit. Brent dressed up as wow. for Halloween. Remember, we did the couple costume that one year. That's Oscar um, Moon. that's pretty spot on. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, I think I think the spirit got Sailor Moon by like forty years though. Ah, I showed them too. You went back. I went back to what? You? I'm sorry. I just saw oh, this. No, yeah. I just covered it up because I got tired of it getting caught on shit. Oh, to explain oh. that for the fucking audio <laughs> listeners, I had got I got a skin biopsy for my so they could see what the fuck is wrong with me. And I got a big ass band aid covering the stitches and shit because I got tired of them get pulling on everything. Mm, so I no, I I go back next week. Ah, well, as they listen okay. to this, I've already been back, but whatever. Yes. You know what the fuck I'm You know, about. yes, you know. God damn it, they know. Yes. They know. They know who we be. They don't know. Who we be? Fat Joe has a new song. Really, is it good? Then it's simple. I, I don't know. I haven't heard it. <laughs> it's um. Let me ask you: What is the last Fat Joe song that you thought was hot? <sighs> exactly. Fuck. Going with that. Lean back. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really heard anything. Fuck. Really. Um, um, yeah, I, I don't know. 
All right. Well, that, after lean back, I don't know. It's I'm, along the lines of the you don't know shit. So all the way up. Ah, oh, there mm. you go. That is his song. Mm. Yeah. yeah, see, PJ, she got one. For I you. thought that was French, but that is Fat Joe. Ah, there you go. See, she she got you. Fat Joe's like Fat Joe, like yeah, nigga. Got you. Nothing me. can stop me. I'm all the way up. Yeah, that is it. That's Joe. Yeah. Uh, see, uh, it's not that far. No, that's not. That? that was 2017. That was four years ago. Ah. Compared to what I said, nigga, that's a fucking yeah, right? decade. Like 2006 or some about, shit. What's love? That's, that's old. Got to, I know. That's older than Lean Back, ain't it? Ah. <laughs> still, that's still a good one. That's uh, that's the early morning, what was it? On MTV? MTV Jams. Oh, wait, or, yeah. AM MTV. I remember that wow. shit. AM Damn. MTV. That's mm. it. He's on the I'm So Hood remix. I don't even know what that, that is. And that was in 2019. Oh. I don't that know. That was in 2019. No. Yeah. No. That's what it says. I'm So Hood? Exclu- mixtape exclusive stream. Oh, well, there is a mixtape exclusive. Oh. There you go. Okay. So you got to get your tapes. You got to get back on that pit. I know, right? And live uh, mixtapes. Okay. Uh, and Children. He was on Deep by Family <laughs> Ties. Uh, Family Ties is on Deep. I don't know. She just I'm naming just, shit now. Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> We're grabbing just, the straws here. I'm we got it, though. Uh, yellow tape with Lil Wayne and ASAP. ASAP who? There's like five of them. Rocky. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, he dropped something. I was wondering where that nigga been. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, PJ. But is, you say, is it good, though? It, it's fine. It got a sample in it. What's you know, sample? It's the 90 sample. Oh. It's, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I can't. Further research is required. Yes. And we'll be done post podcast. There you go. Mm. DJ, mm-hmm. after the credits, you get voiceover. He's talking about, yo, this is my city. I love this city. I protect this city. Mm-hmm. Who runs this city? You don't remember nothing? That, that, yes. Oh, okay. Kind of. Oh, well, he saves a girl in the alleyway that's yes. about to get like assaulted or raped or some shit. It's mm-hmm. like, what, five dudes surrounding her or four dudes or some shit? Yes. He jumps down, whoop their ass, and he's talking to her. He's like, yo. Call your therapist or some shit he says to us. Yeah. Up to a certain point, I'm sorry. I just, it was, I was. It was a lost. blur. Yeah. I'm not, I can tell you, like, I wish I had recorded PJ watching this movie because the look of confusion, not, not there, like, not eraser head levels, but it was, it was approaching it at times. I didn't. And I can't front because there was times where we just both looked at each other unknowingly. Like, I looked at each other, like, the fuck? Because he looked at me and I looked at him like, I don't know, bro. I can't bro. help you. That's, that's, what the know, fuck is going on? Once I hear I can't help you, I know it's, I'm, I'm lost because I, I just got to try to, you know. Like, nigga, help me help you. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on no more. I just need a morsel, okay? Just, just give like me something. The hip hop, which levels of confusion <laughs> popping yes. off here? What the fuck? Okay. But uh, after he saves a girl, he goes and jacks a police car. He just makes that motherfucker get in the passenger get, get the fuck over. Mm-hmm. Steals his car. And then they hear screaming or some shit. Because Eva Mendez, what the fuck was her name? San Serif was her fucking name. Sounds about right. She came out mm-hmm. of the water and she pointed a gun at this detective that was out there by some water. But then yes. she gets smoked, or the cop gets smoked off camera, so that you think it's her at first. Yeah, you find out like five minutes later that it wasn't. Mm-hmm. So that ended real quick. No suspense there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. She, are we? Uh, she goes underwater after that shit, mm-hmm. and there's some trunks. There's a, there's a guy down there, and there's two trunks that are kind of tied together. But then Samuel Jackson plays a character named the Octopus. Yes, and he starts just unloading mad weaponry down there into the water. Breaks the chain mm-hmm. on some Karis one shit reference. Ah, I, I got and, uh, that. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's one. I... Break the chain. Ah. Break them. Uh, <laughs> bonus points yeah. to anybody that knows the character's name from that video. I'm not telling you. You look that shit up. Uh, <laughs> Toby. What? Toby? Why got to be Toby? Because. I know. Um, uh, he said, I, I, come on. Yeah, yes. yeah. We got him. Yes. God damn it. The trunk is underwater, PJ. Yes. One of them got detached, and then I think the, there's some there's some bumble fucks, some clone bumble fucks. Did they take one of them? Because they had one at some point. I don't remember. Mm. I don't fucking remember, PJ. Somehow the octopus gets one of the fucking trunks, and Sans Serif has the other one, I think. Yeah, I don't know. The big we, guys, right? He yeah, shot him. The, the bumble fucks. And the, yes. Yes. Well, the spirit, fuck all that, because the spirit is here now. <laughs> okay. Yes, I am. Oh yeah, uh, that spirit. Well, you but she's not getting hit with a rock though, because this spirit gets hit with a fucking rock, and then him and the octopus get into like a fight where they just like you literally hitting each other finger. with motherfucking huh? You put a rock on my finger. I did. Oh. Bars. Dwayne Johnson. Right. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Spirit got hit with a toilet. 
Oh, you trying to do the people's eyebrow? You look like you constipated. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll rock your Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rock Your Johnson? Where he's like, hi, I'm Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And someone's like, I'll rock your Johnson. Now. I'm sure it's probably been said. Somebody had to. You know who I see seeing that, saying that? Who? Sorry to say it. Some white girl <laughs> who just wants to like... Damn, calling me out. Shit. No, I was... <laughs> technically, you're not wrong. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> she's technically not wrong. I'm just like the attack. Shit. Thank you for forgetting that I'm white. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I swear that shit don't... Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, Huh. PJ don't see color. I, I don't see color. That's all Get the fuck out of color. here. <laughs> no. All I see is color. All nigga. I see, yes. PJ. Yes. They got into a fucking fight and it goes on and on, PJ. I don't know what else mm-hmm. to say. Like, the spirit, it was with it gets to, it, like, some, into the uh, porcelain yeah. shits. Yeah, it was like, he, he getting mm-hmm. with toilets and shit. There you go. Toilets? <laughs> porcelain shits. From, you mean a toilet? That's it. <laughs> I don't know where. I couldn't. <laughs> Couldn't get the, the porcelain kids. throne. That happens sometimes when your mind sense. blank and shit. Yes, I knew it was porcelain. I just yes. toilet. There you that's, go. That's the word. But it ends up in the draw because eventually Octopus was like, you know what? We, we'll do this another time. Mm-hmm. And well, that's like when he hits him with the toilet, it's like the toilet seat is like wrapped around. Yeah, him. he's like in the toilet seat. Yes. Very cartoony. He's like, toilets are always funny. He says something like that. <laughs> but yeah, at this point, me and Future, I know this is one of the points we looked at each other confused because like, yo, why are fuck aren't you dying? Yes. I I know nothing yes. about this comic book other than it's extremely racist. Because they got Deadpool syndrome. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. They oh, have a? Huh? Deadpool syndrome. The, ah, the, 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 the generation. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's it. But now I was showing up. I don't, people have seen this, but I don't know if they know. There's a character named Ebony White that is not in the movie. Bruh. Because it's racist as fuck. As fuck. Type that in. Mm. Type the spirit Ebony White. And then, yeah. Mm. And then feel bad. Why about do how, they have things to have my name? Bad. Like, why mm. did they have to tie the racist shit to my shit? And then, like, that's the thing that kills it is because the person they tied the bad part of the spirit is Ebony and White. And I'm, e- or what was it? What, Ebony <laughs> it, and, it was Ebony White. And then I'm Ebony and White. And so that's just fucked up. Ebony and Ivory. Who is that? Oh, shit. Who is that? That's, that ain't Smokey, is it? That ain't is that Smokey? Is Smokey, is it? Who sings that now? Oh, shit. Let me find out. Who is Who? Oh, fuck. I got to give me. Just give me give me a second. I got you. Uh, Do you know? I don't. Oh, okay. I thought Who's say, Peaches and Herb? Shit, there's a couple songs. Hey, Peaches, I don't know which way you're talking about. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> there's a group named Peaches and Herb. No, I think that's what I was thinking about, but I don't know if that was correct. Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder. There you go. That makes so much sense. <laughs> it does, don't it? That makes so much sense. You said peaches and herb. I looked that up too. I got. And that. it's mm. funny because one of those really can't see color. Damn. No, he can't. <laughs> Society of Soul, peaches and herb. That's why. Ah, yeah. yeah, and there's nice. a group, peaches and herb. Reunited and it feels so good. There you go. Got it. Yeah. See, I got you. Yes. P. Jizzle. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, my next one was that one of the bumble fucks got ran over. It was uh, Pathos, I think. Yeah, there you go. See, she remembers uh, that shit. We're here. Was Ethos logos and Pathos. Did you notice the names he kept giving these motherfuckers? Yeah, every yeah. day. Because they were on their shirts. Yeah. yeah. One got was like stupid. Adios, and another one was like Muchachos or something like that. Yeah. He just kept like naming them oaths. random ass shit. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I skipped that part. Um, so I got to talk about that shit. Probably my favorite part in this whole entire movie. <laughs> uh-huh. Wilder, um, I forget who the fuck. Oh, oh, it's Spirit and Octopus fighting. The octopus, he gets Octopus on the ground. He hits this nigga with like a fifty piece. God, <laughs> yes, like, bitch, yes. bitch, 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 bitch. You got him. Every time he punched, I was saying that, and I actually ran out of breath because he. I'm like, how many times you gonna punch this nigga? I feel like that's some shit you would do though. Yeah, that would suck. Like though, you personally, like, let me be Spider Man super can, strength. That's it. Ah. That would suck though. Like you can feel all the pain of it, but you can't die like that. But I mean, eventually it goes away because you regenerate and everything. Yeah. But the fact that like certain things, like for instance, like getting shot in the head is something that would be really, really painful. Most people don't. Mm. Oh, mo- like most people, I think. You you don't actually die instantly, instantly, but you die such a short time after getting shot in the head that like you don't feel as much of it because you imagine mm. like just the throbbing of getting shot in the fucking head mm. and just feeling that for a good five minutes till your brain and all that regenerates. I cannot. That was suck. I <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. 
Oh, well, your boy Sam took like six in the fucking face at the end of the movie. Yeah, right. Fuck. Damn, Sam. He ain't lost no one. But yeah, that's probably my favorite part in this whole movie. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, but him hitting this... him with like the fifty pieces, my favorite part. Uh, so... I can see that. And okay. then he, and then the spirit gets shot by one of the bumblefucks. I think. Uh, you're introduced to Sarah Paulson's character. Her name is Ellen. She's the doctor that basically brings this nigga back to life every time he dies. And it's his girlfriend, I guess. His main girl. This is love fought, interest. There you go. That's uh-huh. the, he's the main. She's the main love interest. Yes. Because he out here fucking everything that moves. Yes. Some Jan Silent Bob shit. Yes. And what? How the fuck? Oh, no. She's at the crime scene. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he looks in the dude's hand and he got a locket that belonged to San Seraph. And it's got his picture and her picture from when they was kids. Mm-hmm. The dude who was dying, right? Yeah, the cop that got smoked yeah, in yeah. the back by the octopus. Yes, yes, okay. And then he got beef with the police chief because he tells him you can't do out here this vigilante shit. Mm-hmm. The spirit is basically like Batman almost. I don't know which one came first. Who's who's Jack and who in this scenario? Oh, what if it was Batman, Jack and the Spirit? Uh, let's see. Survey says this is Batman. Uh, when did Batman start? 1939. Okay. Damn, Batman. He's like, yeah. Oh. 1940. So Batman came first. Ah. So Spirit is just Zach. Okay. In my opinion, I know somebody probably like, they're not the same. No, they're the same. I don't care. So, well, I can yeah. tell you what, this movie for sure, because there's even like music stings that sound like they're ripped straight from the fucking... 1989 or Batman movies that sounds like fucking Christian all oh, Christian where are they yeah where are Scarecrow yeah shit the... <laughs> uh, <laughs> deepness I, what does that say when she drunk and you think you finna get your dick sucked but she starts singing into it your shit like a microphone has that ever happened PJ oh he should have said yes oh I mean girly grab me not think it was like eh <laughs> nah <laughs> She just hit it. It wasn't. <laughs> she, girl, There's an opportune time. Girl, grab my dick. I'm sorry. Uh, What's that? I, that? That might be a song. <laughs> be it was already a song. Cool Keith made that song. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's called Girl Grab. That's the name of the song. <laughs> I fucking love Cool. Go listen okay. to Cool Keith, everybody. God damn it. Um, Shit's hilarious. I'm sorry. There's an opportune time. Okay. That you have. Uh-huh. To initiate the dick sucking. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go, go. Left or right. Let's hear this. Right? So ladies, like ladies get, your, get your notebooks. You <laughs> ask and it's a hardcore no. Uh-huh. You ask and it's a we'll see that leads to nothing. Or you we'll ask. See. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. That's it. That. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> if they hit you with a we'll see, take it as a no. There you go. That's what, that's what you <laughs> were saying too, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's that like it's an opportune time. Unless, like it's it has an, to be. unless it's an emphatic yes. Yes. Or it's no words. It's just zip. There you go. Consent. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mm. Enthusiastic consent is mm. what you want. Someone it, yes. who is. Because if you're like asking a girl over and over and over and she's like, well, I guess What's I'm all dick? right. Like, What's you right? just pressure her into dick? sex and that's not yeah, okay that's or not, cool. Like, just like, and if plus, why would you want to fuck someone who don't really want to fuck you anyways? Yeah. You know how much pussies out there, guys? Come on, just sorry. Somebody out there for everybody. Of course. You just is. ain't found George. Yeah. You can literally buy a pussy you can put in your pocket for like $20. And it's literally called a pocket pussy. Or a flashlight. Pick one. They even got silicone asses if you're an ass man. And you can just fuck the ass. I'm oh, sorry. Man. Yes, PJ, I'm not fucking with you. You don't know this? If it's in your pocket? Yeah. Well, not the ass, but the pocket joint. I mean... No, because they do have du- dual-ended ones that have a pussy on one side and well, the ass on the other Well, there you go, PJ. One, so yes. you're, you're asking the wrong person, PJ. I used to sell t- sex toys, PJ. Like, I know this shit. I love... Like, I get excited going... I don't think it'll toys. literally fit in, like, my, your jean pocket, though. I don't think it's that damn It kind of could. It's could it? For you tiny, dick-ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, not Nah. I mean, you kind of could squish it and make it fit. I guess. Mm. Like, fold it, kind of. Girl, fold, fold my dick. Girl, fold my dick. Fold my dick. It's made out of, like, a, a silicone <sighs> thing, and, like, the, the ass ones are tighter than the vagina ones. I'm sure. Yeah, that makes sense. They have them modeled after actual people's vaginas. They have ones that you can have for the shower. PJ Regina Hall, pocket pussy, you buying it? 
you just hang it up in the shower <laughs> and it gets wet from the water. I, I just feel like that's weird. It's not. Like it's the. If I had a dick, I would totally use one. I've used one on guys before. As a four, what if you fuck with a girlie like, and she like, yo, I want to use this pocket pussy on you. Would you let her? She like, PJ, this shit get me wet. Let me use it. When I can just fuck you? But like, PJ, it's the preamble. Uh, you got to get it wet fuck. first. And this is what gets her wet, PJ. What you going to do? Yes. What you going to do, mean, brother? Of course, yes. Okay. That's it. Right. But we're going to have to discuss. Like, But there are times, too. Like, there's been times where, like... <sighs> We're going to the discuss. The guys would not, like, they kept going. Like, they kept going, like, energizer bunny, and I was tapped out. Like, I'm done. Like, I'm just like, look. <laughs> that's I it. Yeah, like, no mas. <laughs> that's it. Yes, that's fine. Then you have to do what you have to do. But until but, then. But I've also had really <sighs> sensual, like, dual masturbation experiences with a partner where you're both masturbating and watching porn together. And, like, you're not having sex, but still really into this. Excuse me. I ran out of air when I was talking. Okay. You know, really intimate. So it's really fun. Like, yes. You know. But I'm kinky like that. Like I like doing all types of shit. Like, I guess I'm just like a you're a vanilla guy. basic ass nigga. Yes, that, that's it. <laughs> you know, okay. but I'm not. But I am. I, if I told you that I don't watch porn, you don't watch porn. I, Paulus, you don't watch porn. Hands I up. get enough pussy to not look, like, look, 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 PJ. I don't need to look at porn. <laughs> I get pussy. <laughs> Dad. I'm sorry, but no. Like I just complete opposite ends of the spectrum right here is I had a poor phone. So it. fuck off. You know, but I just I mean I get pretty <sighs> angry, but I'm just saying, like you don't <sighs> ever just wanna like rip oh, one out. Shit. I use like, my mind for that shit. I need no porn. Like <laughs> see, I know this thing is too well. <laughs> but, like, I know this but, too well. but, <laughs> but it makes it so much easier. Like you can just like literally like watch a porn and like and <sighs> like put yourself into whatever fantasy. Experience it's raps. Like, it's raps. It's raps. Don't do it. It's just watching. Like, <laughs> He's I, not gonna do his raps. They have VR I see porn now dicks, too. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> are, why are you so afraid of a penis? I'm not, but I am. I, I just don't, don't want to like them. That there you go. <laughs> I only like mine. Have you been molested? No, no, I have not. No, damn, that got serious. Because that's was, usually I like a thing. Like, oh, okay. I wasn't trying to like very, but I was just like worried yeah. though, because like your nah. opposition to penis is very. No, I just no. Because usually when people have like super oppositions like this, it's because they're secretly gay themselves, oh. or either they've been molested. Those <laughs> look at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I cannot help you here. No, usually it's those two things. Uh, so it's no, like, I just I need some more Jack Daniels. There you go. Yes. Yeah. No, I just I no no. PJ, you show. I'm positive. I'm positive. I don't know. PJ, like, I'm, look, look, look. I, I like what I like, and I don't like what I don't like. Simply put, Pam. I'm just the Pam. Pam, I mean. I said Pam, nigga. Damn, Gina. But like, I like, <laughs> Damn, y'all. But, like, I like both of them. Like, Differences in opinion right here. Oh. Both very she beautiful. like both. He like, I like one. That's it. With nothing else. The only time nothing conditions extra. aren't pretty is when they're unsolicited dick pics, and it's just like, why the fuck are you sending me this much? I never understood the point anyway. What's the point of sending dick pics? Bruh. I never, I know, I don't understand. To see on PJ, I don't if understand. I can tell you yes. the amount of I will show you my dick in Not person. currently, obviously. Fuck that picture. God. That right. I'm with PJ on that one. Fuck. Like, like, what, what, what are we day, doing? When I'd be on dating sites and shit, especially, so I used to use this app called Whisper a lot. And, um. Oh, you know. You know Whisper. Yeah, maybe that. No, oh, I, I, no, no. I was saying whisper. I didn't know what anything did until I met her. I didn't know what the fuck that was either. But yeah, no, I was on this app called Whisper, and it's pretty much where you can post things anonymously. It's like pretty much a place where you post memes anonymously and shit. Or say or racist you, shit. Like, they um, do that too. Oh, yo, I've seen um, them. shit you oh. showed me. Yeah. But, um, right. but yeah, so like, yo, I used to be why, on there. Why niggas just let these shit? I don't understand that. Like, <laughs> You could confess stuff. That was you know, legit something I saw, bro. You can confess stuff and talk about Word stuff you don't want anyone else knowing about because they don't know who the fuck you are. And so many, so many guys send dick pics on there. Like, I'm girl, just like, you y'all, like dick, girl, I'm just like, first of all, dick. this app is anonymous. What if I was a child? Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, I can't. We okay. Yeah, I never understood the point of dick pics. I'll never understand that part. PJ though, yes, we gotta get back on track. Forty minutes in, dog. We okay. barely off the Apologies. coast. Apologies. All right, we're here. We're still we're running off the credits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, we're a little bit further than I thought okay. actually. Okay. Um, Pathos. That, uh, Pathos yes. got shot mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. your boy Sam Jackson was like, "Yo, I'm like having egg on my face." Because your boy Pathos was like, "Yo, can I go to the hospital?" Because I got ran over by a fucking car. And he's mm-hmm. like, "No," because then they're gonna realize I don't give you health insurance and you gonna make me look bad. Jokes, PJ. 
Did you laugh? Nah, Did no. you laugh, motherfucker? That's America! Not funny. <laughs> I, I just got health insurance for my son, so. Well, there, there, now it's taken out. It's of my too check. real. Uh, fuck. Yes. PJ, this will yes. get your flashback. Okay. Find out the reason about the locket was the spirit's picture and Sarah's picture is because he was in love with that girl when he was younger. Mm-hmm. And then one of the ways he tried to secure is by getting her this lock. He's like, yo, you know, yes. I know we ain't like official number, but I don't you know if you want to wear it, though. And she smiles. She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to wear that. I'm going to wear this shit. Yes. I'm going to wear that shit. Good. She says, so you want me to be like your girlfriend? He like, no, nah, I mean, no, nah, I mean, uh, do you want to? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Do you want to? Please? Is that what you want? Is that, I mean, is that what you want? <laughs> <laughs> she like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I think that's what I want, baby. <laughs> so Put that shit on. Yes. And then uh, what happens next? I know this, that flashback goes on for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, Kurt, somebody, Uncle Pete got fucked up. I don't remember whose uncle it was. I just know his name was Pete. Was it her uncle? His uncle? One of them. His uncle? Fuck it. Pete. Hers. Pete did. Okay. Because she got the problem later. That, oh, you remember? Yeah, the, the electric complex. Oh, yeah. Shit. I remember yes. that because of James Bond movies, nigga. Uh, <laughs> okay. No, I didn't. Oh, people be like, oh, yeah, he must read up on literature. No. No. I know because of James Bond. Thank you very fucking much. Okay. God damn it, Electric King, The World Is Not Enough, 1999, motherfucker. Watch movies. Peach. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, because Uncle Pete did. Mm-hmm. San Serif is like, yo, I hate cops. Fuck cops. Fuck the police. FTP. Yes. Yeah, you see? Yeah, okay, I was like, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, re- I remember. Okay, yeah. She went straight with the NWA shit. Yeah. And your, and your boy, the spirit is salty because he's like, I'm going to be a cop. And she's like, well, fuck you too then. I'm right. leaving town. I won't ever see you again. Right. Well, this is where she got into the... I want the oh I want oh, this the is what jewels. you was talking about. Yeah, I yeah, want yeah, yeah. the you know I want the finer things in life. I want nigga. expensive okay? shit, not just you. Little cheap ass like it. Yes, I ain't saying she a gold ah. digger. Yep. Oh, she could fucking with them broke niggas. God. Pretty much, ah, and she went off to become as we find out a jewel thief. Ah, yeah, she liked that bling bling. Yeah, every time she come around the city, bling bling. There you go. Yeah, yes, P Jizzle. Mm-hmm. Oh, she that's the quote. Her quote was, "I want diamonds." I wrote that down. There you, there you go. go. Coats, okay. Nigga. Okay. My next note is Samurai Octopus. Oh. For some reason, he's dressed up like a samurai because you were talking about his mutton chops. Ah, yes. And uh, he makes one of the motherfucking uh, bumble Nothing fucks. He does like Harakiri or Seppuku yeah. and shit where he could, he's like, yo, kill yourself, nigga. Mm-hmm. And he puts the thing in. And the whole scene, he's slowly like cutting his. He's instead of just doing it like, huh. Yeah. He's just slowly doing it. He's like, am I doing it right? He's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You're good. You're great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep wait, wait, fucking wait, doing wait. it. Wait, So. I thought when they did that, they was just supposed to go like straight in. No, they're supposed to slash yeah. themselves in half. Yeah, no, not in half. It's just it's like a from here to here, basically. Yeah, after you get it in. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you jam it and you go. Because if you watch the samurai movies, they do the thing where they you know they do the and they and then they yeah. fall forward and yeah. Watch more samurai movies, people. I'm gonna make y'all. I got them upstairs. I will make y'all watch oh, them. Oh shit! Right. There's a fucking movie called Hiro like, You're already, not dead already... after this, like after the impalement. Well, that's that's the thing is that you're going to die probably, but you just you make sure of it because it's so ah, yes. Ah. That's like the cherry on top. It's like, huh? I'm gonna die, but oh, now I'm dead. Ah. Disembowel. Oh, no. Okay. I already thought it was fucking fuck. gruesome as fuck, and like I'm sorry, but like they. I'm too skinny. There's so many things. <laughs> just go through your back. <laughs> yeah. I, there's no way. Yeah. There's so many well, they don't things use the, oh, I'll tell you. that they do in their culture that is like... Well, I don't think people are doing it now. No, not now. Oh, okay. I'm talking about like a past culture. Like, I mean, like... I'll take that back, actually. I got, I'll tell you about it. I don't know a shit ton about a really? lot of cultures and stuff, it. and I'm sure other cultures do this, but like just back in the day, how like it was just like for honor, we killing ourselves and shit. I'm like... Fuck that shit's honor. Like, I'll be a dishonorable motherfucker. That's I'll be a live And see, and that's why they would fuck with you. <laughs> and that is why. Maybe they killed your ass. You wouldn't have to worry about suits. They'll kill your ass. <laughs> I've seen you have to kill me, nigga. Like, roll roll in out there, bro. Mm. Says the person who has tried to kill herself. So well, there you go. Boom. And I, I said <laughs> PJ, though, because. um. See, I, I couldn't do it because I could, I've tried. It didn't work. No, well, there you go. <laughs> In the, in, the Yak, in the Yakuza or Yakuza movies and shit. I don't know if it's real life or it's movies though, but in the movies they do that shit still. But they are like, I call, always say the Yakuza daggers. I forget what they're actually called. They're not swords, but their daggers are probably like that long with the handle maybe that long. Oh. And they do that shit where like if they fuck up, mm-hmm. they know as you know, they would cut their pinky or finger off and give it to the boss, you know, as like basically their payment. Like, we won't kill you, but you won't give me that motherfucking finger though. You got me fucked up. And there's a there's like a movie, I forget which one it was, but the dude's finger was like like this and shit, because he got to keep cutting. I've seen off. that. Yeah, yeah, that's there you go. But then in, <sighs> in, in, in some of the movies though, they actually do do that with the dagger. They just they hit themselves in the stomach and do that. So I mean, if that shit's real, like, ah. if it ain't just movie shit. Then it possibly could still be going on. Wait, wait, we're not gang affiliated. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not in the Yakuza, bro. Like, so yeah, that shit's real. Okay, but um, 
I don't remember what the fuck else was going on. Oh, they're talking about they're, he, they're trying to get the, the other box. They got the one crate from under the water, but they need the other one. And that's what they're talking about. Octopus. Yes. He went crazy, though, right? Like, he... I don't know if he went crazy. He's crazy from the beginning. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay, yes. My next note is blackmail and copies of that ass. Because Sans mm-hmm. Seraph and her husband, whoever the fuck this guy is, I don't know, I never got a name. They go to blackmail somebody for some reason. Why? Don't fucking know. But what? I just know she makes copies of her ass. Mm-hmm. And she hands it to dude. And she's like, you made a perfect ass of yourself. She pauses and says, a perfect ass ha. of yourself. Do you fucking get it? Ha, ha, I ha, made ha, sure. Ha, ha. A perfect ass. Ah. On the mic. The, yes. So that, that you know. ASMR. That's the joke. And PJ. Yes. You remember anything from that scene? Well, I'm, I'm going to go pour me some more Pepsi real uh, quick. Yes. So she went in there. Like you said, I don't, all I remember is, long story short, she's there telling them that, hey, hold on, I'm sorry. What was her purpose for going? I don't know. That's the thing. Uh, I have no fucking clue. That's what I, it was, I couldn't, uh, there were just certain spots where I was there for, but I didn't know why. why? Yes. <laughs> I, it was, it was jumbled. So, but I remember this. I just, this no. Shot, this is my shot, right? Yes, sir. I need, to, I need to put a little bit more in there. Ah. That's, that ain't enough. For ah, this. he ain't, sounds ain't, like me ain't, right ain't now. Ain't enough okay. for this fucking movie right Okay. Now. Yes. There, there we go. Yeah. Now pour it in the Pepsi. Bam. There we go. And you're great. <sighs> Jack Daniels, honey. Goddamn right. Get some for your honey. Ah, Ooh. PJ. <laughs> yes. Is that a bar? That Valentine's was. Day coming up, y'all. That's right. Oh, by the time they listen to this, yes, the end oh, of January, fuck. too. So. Ooh. Oh, you got to worry about that now, don't you? Yeah, damn, <laughs> that's been a minute. Oh, I'll give you some advice uh, afterwards. There yeah. you go, off mic advice, the best type of advice. Goddamn right. Peace, Jizzle. Happy no Father's Day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <Today's> <laughs> <a college? laughs> that's every day for yeah. me. Shit. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if there was actually a no Father's Day. We well, should the way they make up holidays oh. nowadays. It could be. I wouldn't know, right? Where, when is Happy No Mother's Day? I need to get on this shit. Nigga, there's a National Podcast Day. Yeah, we got a holiday. And I couldn't tell you what they, fucking died. Uh, <laughs> okay. I remember, I seen it. Ah, but I don't remember some how time I got ago. you. Hold okay. On. Yes. I'm going to look that shit up. So there was a thing. Ah, I knew you wouldn't get it. She would. Have you seen Soul? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we both seen it. Oh, you would I love, it. A, I love a quick review for it. Oh. <laughs> National Podcast Day, September 30th, 20, or whatever, September 30th. Wow, you don't say. Your birthday, yeah. What's up with Soul, though? Ah. Who stole the soul, PJ? I guess <laughs> so. Public. Sorry. Look, babe. Just Uh-oh. relax. Woo! Sorry. Nigga, where the fuck? Nigga, yeah, put that. I'm just going to that. fuck you at? Oh, we're we not going to respond. Nah, nah. Woo! Nah, it's okay. PJ. Let's mm-hmm. go. You're going to get broken up with before Valentine's Day. It's, no. Nope. Because when you give into energy, then that. Nope. We're just going to, I'm going to deal with it when I get there. I don't give into demands. This is not a hostage situation. This is goddamn right. <laughs> I'm going to deal with it when I get there. I'll be there when I'll be there. there. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm a grown ass man. She'll be she listen to this like, oh, work? <laughs> <laughs> knuckles cracking, if that's what y'all wonder what that sound was. <laughs> them knuckles. Mm. She's like, oh, oh, work? Okay. <laughs> she gonna go bobbing on your ass. <laughs> PJ, you cut off. <laughs> His face when I said that. You gonna go to smash, mm. put your dick in there. She gonna tighten them thighs up real hard mm. and suffocate that dick. Mm. Like, now, where was you at, nigga? <laughs> Like, baby, please. <laughs> baby, please. That voice just keep no, going higher not. and higher. Baby, baby please. Oh, <laughs> uh, look. I'm, uh, hey, look, look, baby, look. I'm recording. There you go. And it's usually a two-hour process. Look. We 47 minutes in. I got you. T- God damn. I'm going to be just, up all night. Uh, and I will keep you up all night when I get done. That's being up all night. Being up <laughs> all night. Or else you will wake up for the rest of the night. Ooh. And we will be up. The remainder of the night. Yes. Ah. All day and all night. I think I said that backwards. Whatever. PJ. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, my next note. Oh, damn. We just took a shot. And I just. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Black. That honey and Pepsi, though. It's pretty good. Some. It's good. PJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Spirit is getting checked up by Ellen. Mm-hmm. And, um. What the fuck happened? Like, oh, they have their, their, you know, this is what, like I said, they had their little moment because he puts her up against the wall and closes the blinds like he about to get some of that poonanny. Mm-hmm. But 
her dad is, the police chief, and he comes in and push. He shuts that shit down. No more. And I also yes. made a note, too, because this is where the spirit pointed it out. And I was going to say it for her because I thought she was going to be asleep, but she awake. Mm-hmm. Got her up on the microphone. Late nights with the spirit. Oh, talking about the spirit. Shit. See how that works? What was you talking about? You said some of her skin. You said it looked like they smoothed their skin out or CG their skin oh, or some shit. Oh, yeah. She looked like she had a Snapchat filter on her. I was wondering, like, is it makeup? Is it because they seem to be shining the brightest fucking lights no, in her face editing, constantly? You think, it was, you think it was sure. okay. I saw like certain areas. She's like, nigga, I know filters. This is, I know filters. You got it. some yes. airbrushing in there. Somewhere, somewhere. I know she pointed that out, Dad. She said that I noticed it from that point on. Like, no, because like you I look think smooth, she, nigga. No, mm. yeah, she did. Like mm. I find her really, really attractive, but I also know she's um quite up there in age. So. Fifty. I don't know. She's talking, she's talking about Sarah Paulson, folks, who don't know who she's talking about. That's That's a, I only I know her from fucking America Horror Story. You ever seen yeah. Bird Box? She was in Bird Box because she got killed and it was hilarious. <laughs> How she, did she killed? Got killed by guy? Did she get killed by a bus or she got ran over or a car got crashed into or some shit? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there you go. She is uh, 46 years old. Well, okay. So she wasn't that old because this is came out in 2008. to Gary Paulson? I don't even who the fuck is that? Uh she's no, she's a married writer, to a right? She, she's married to a woman. Oh, huh, what? A writer. She's married to a oh. woman. She's oh, married to oh, a woman. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, her wife is on, Holland Gary. uh Holland Taylor. I they got married know. in twenty fifteen. There you go. My next note after that though is in the same scene. Mm-hmm. The chief comes in and he introduced I don't I don't remember her fucking name no more. But my note was just like uh, what I say, loud woman the loud woman cop, because you came when she came in talking, you was like, you said something. This girl, he came. She's like, "Report for duty, sir." Some shit like the whole. She was talking real loud. Oh yeah, like goddamn, I hear you. I'm Yo, not chill deaf. the fuck out. Right? Yo, why you yelling? Right. Fuck. She's like the, the the young rookie that's like super passionate about her job. Mm-hmm. So she hype, as we all should be at one time in my life. And your boy, the spirit, immediately starts flirting with her right in front of fucking yes. Ellen. Give me your hand. I'm gonna kiss that shit. And then I'm gonna tell you go report for duty. Yeah, right. I'm that she nigga. smiled hard. Yes. Yes. I am not even gonna lie. The spirit was reminding me of Brent because ah, what I he's do? just a natural Why player. Why nigga? Spit? Like damn, because yes. like damn, what I do? Yes, because he be doing me like how the spirit was doing Paulson. Like he be fucking flirting with me and shit and be like, but you like me. that though, right? You're, you're too smooth. But he be I can't help me. it. I, I, I was born that way. <laughs> I can't I, help it. I'm sorry. Like it's literally to the point that it's hard for me to do dishes around it. him because every time I do dishes, I end up fucking yeah. halfway through the dishes. Like yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah. because that ass, that ass, that ass, that ass, that ass, that ass. That ass. That I can't, nasty. I can't help it. I can't help. Mm. I, can't, I can't remember other words. I can't help it if I want it. There's the other part I couldn't think of. Give it up, that's that's her man. man's right there. I was saying that's, that's how you see, you see how that mind. You see how that works, right? With the so Jackson you know, folks, we we have to review what, like one of Eddie Murphy's stand up, because I just remember Ooh. I was how do we talk Ooh, about it? I don't know. I don't know. She's not gonna want to see that shit. She said he's he said he's not the masculine fellow, not the most. Oh, it's on Michael fellow. Jackson. Yeah, he talked about even both of them. That's right. Oh shit! Cause Did he, he? And raw because delirious is what you're talking about. But then Eddie yeah. Murphy raw, he said he he had to come back. He's like, hey man. I heard you say about me on your stair or some shit like that. He started into, he started fucking with me again. <laughs> Cause he did that with Mr. T too. Oh shit. No. <laughs> raw. No, it's raw shit. Something. I think she might fuck with the delirious one. There's a delirious. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Delirious. I've is seen too him much. like don't get me wrong, y'all. Like I'm a very much like a very <laughs> um politically correct social justice warrior and all that. Especially because like the profession I'm going into dictates that that's what I should be like. But I'm also kind of like a Libra, so you know I'd be on that bullshit anyways. Hmm. But a Libra, I can <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> but I can also find humor in things that like Borat, obviously not at o- first Borat. A funny lot too. of a lot of not okay jokes and shit that's like ah, but I find it hilarious. I see the humor in it. I'm not like a fucking prude, I guess. That's it. So no, when did I'm- we get so oh, soft? My bad. <laughs> that's what I knew. I, did, I mean, I mean. Yeah, nah, just as a fuck it up. That's why I tell you all the time. Libra men and women are not the same. Also, September Libras and October Libras are not the same. Case in point, PJ and I. I'm just like saying, niggas levels to this shit. You make us look bad, PJ. You give us Uh-oh. a bad name. Uh-oh. I'm just saying we've grown soft as a whole as a fucking world. Alright? We're just mm. soft. Like niggas can't mm. there is nothing. <sighs> 
<laughs> if someone wants to blur the lines, right? Okay. In this day and age, okay. somebody somebody will beat to the will beat the point down that they are right without just being able to accept, hey, we have a difference of opinion. I think I'm right. You think you're right. That's cool. Let's just be all okay with this. But no, now it's it's like one way or it's my way or the highway mentality nowadays. I mean, sometimes you gotta be. So life is so I'm not gonna lie. Like on certain subjects, I very much am. Like what? Like um, abortion. Yeah. Yeah. Pedophilia. Yeah. Racism. Yeah. Sexism. Yeah. Homophobia. Yeah. Islamophobia. Yeah. Misogyny. Yeah. <laughs> See. No. Yeah. It's certain shit. It's just certain... <sighs> it's too much. I probably won't be able to find it. There was a thing on Sweet Life and Zach and Cody. Oh, okay. Where he was basically... Like Disney Channel reference. Exactly. But it was when we were coming up, and she said something, something. And he basically, his response was basically, because she was a woman, that would never happen. Ha, 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 ha. There goes the joke. Was that the laugh track under it? Yeah. Oh. That, that was like the ha, ha. Like, it was a... That's the joke. But it's like... It was funny for the time. No, what are you just talking for, about? for the joke. Oh, oh like I don't oh, get offended when I see a, a a race joke if it's in good humor. I was say no. Hold up, is there some in good someone? humor? Yes, like the whole song of the South that was a little mm. too much. But that's the thing. That's but the thing with because the good. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's like if if a white person makes a race joke, but he grew up in the hood with a bunch of black people, but he does that like same joke in front Some of a Gary crowd of different shit. black people, the black people might not find it funny. And have issue with what he said. Same thing with men making women jokes because of the fact that men have literally put their fucking foot on women's necks throughout all of eternity. It's literal bullshit. Mm. Like literally, the fact that I had to fucking go through so much bullshit mm-hmm. for phone, fucking yeah. birth right. control. <laughs> yes, putting my body through fucks up, fucked up shit, blowing myself up fifty fucking pounds, getting stretch marks where I've never had them before, having my emotions irregulated, mm-hmm. fucking being depressed and having my hair fall out and all these other type of health issues that are arising because I'm on birth control, where I try to switch to something that's non-hormonal that can also fuck up my body, where I'm having periods I feel like I'm having a fucking miscarriage, but I'm not. It's just your fucking birth control doing the shit to you, but niggas be walking around and not having to deal with the shit because they just get to nut into women without any reper- repercussions because we'll take on all the responsibility for that. And men won't do birth control because it gave them fucking headaches. But see, like, that's, that's where the type of bullshit we're talking about. you said that we're y'all will now, do it all. And that's, it's like certain shit in the logic that force. No. Cause I'm a nigga who does it all. So you can't tell me are you that a woman's going to do it all. Are you the only thing she did was give birth to that man. Everything else I done done. And that's how I truly okay, feel. So they have some, they have some ancient women. But I'm talking about in the general spectrum of things. Because- and so there's some racists, but in the general spectrum spectrum of things, it's all okay. Like, let there be jokes. Like, jokes can't there be can told be nowadays. to an extent. But that's the thing is because y'all, you guys push these... Fall- so that's the thing. When men make these misogynistic jokes, it literally... He just sat back. He said, it, oh, it, oh, it comes from a fucking place. Uh, like, part of it is fucking... Like, you feel it's true. <laughs> like, if you couldn't make that same joke with your daughter sitting right in front of you... Why would you make it? I guarantee I would be able to. Just like race jokes, I guarantee whether nobody... Dave Chappelle, classic. As many but that's different. race, like, different, there are but different... it's funny. That's what I'm, it's his, circumstantial. But okay, but there's a different... Like, his is based on sarcasm. Like, it's a sarcastic type thing. And the same thing was on Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, but guaranteed if that was showed today, it was a sarca- It was about, like, the wage gap or some shit. Like, haha, why don't she why don't you try getting a job in the nineteen thirties or some shit? Cause it was the wage gap. But it's like it was a joke. But nineteen thirties women weren't really allowed to work. We only began to work because the men went off to fucking war and they had no one to fucking build the shit for the fucking war. That was all y'all was gonna work. Like that was the joke though. Like it, it wouldn't have been possible. So that's, and that's the thing, like it why was that not possible? The reason why it's offensive is because we've had to fight to work. We've had to fight to have credit cards. We've had to fight like literally in the lifespan of Ruth Gator, uh, Bader Ginsburg, yes. who just passed away. Yes. Like we got the right to have um credit cards. We got the right to um go to the doctors. Like pretty much with like have medical input directly to us and not our fucking spouses. Like we got the rights 
Exactly. Like any like if I had been back then and I need to go to the hospital and me and Brent were together, I need to go to my doctor's checkup and everything. They wouldn't address me. They would talk to Brent about all the medications I need to take. They would not tell me about what was going on with my body or what I should do. Anything and that, that part's I, fucked up. And like, that's that fucked up. Happens. But it happened. It still happens. The, and racism still happens. That's what exactly. I'm. The only thing I can compare it to is race because that's the. But, I feel like as a black man, we're not a black woman, but so Dave we don't Chappelle know. But Dave doesn't hardly ever make jokes without there being some constructive talk behind it. It's not just a flat, just say the joke and leave. Which Zach and Cody was just flat joke, leave it. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. just there the, was no ha, 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 ha. Dave Chappelle's comedies are actually constructive and create discussions. And that's what she's telling you. <sighs> smarter jokes. It's okay if it's constructive. So what happened to just jokes? Like, just jokes being... Eddie Murphy shit wouldn't fly nowadays. Like, that's just too... He's, a, he's it's apologized too for it on, on TV. Like, why? And why apologize? progress. Why, why should we want to stay the same? Why should we want to stay the same? We're supposed to want to progress. Why be the? Why always be the shitty people we were? For a couple chuckles. When it makes people <sighs> feel uncomfortable. Or bad about themselves. Or there are there are comedians out there that don't off. give a fuck like you're talking about to still do it. I actually just watched the whole compilation about a Saturday Night Live when you know they do the opening monologue and like yeah. dudes that said jokes that like the audience was like oh and then, you know shit. Like Ooh that. yeah, he's going like, Ooh, like uncomfortable well, shit. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's true. PJ. It's not because it's not. I don't believe in super sensitive things. Do you see I what think, I'm saying? Uh, like you, you get the. I'm not saying. But I know what you. I get, I get what you're both saying. I, I see what you're both okay, saying. Okay, so where is where is the balance in here? It's because you have to understand like, that there is with, especially concerning what type of exposure you are, who your audience is, how what platform you have. There can be a lot of drawbacks to that. Just like for instance, someone making racist jokes. Okay, but there's going to be a lot of proud boys listening to that shit, laughing it up, and they're going to have heated discussions about how racist it is, and they're going to be cracking those things, making a work environment for their other employees who are people of color uncomfortable because they're joking around this shit in the fucking lunchroom and shit and then you create a hostile environment where there start to be racial tensions and then guess what and that's why i say we've gotten too soft like why the fuck does everything have to be taken so personally like if if you if we talk about gays if we talk about women if we talk about like it's so much that's just we can't talk about now Y'all laugh at everyone else and point fingers to make fun of everyone else. Make fun of yourself. The best comedians I've ever found are people who make fun of themselves. Themselves and other people. Like, that's the thing about life. Like, life is not just centered on yourself. There is a whole world out here that we are not experienced in. So once we gain experience, then we have a judgment on said experiences. The observational humor. Boom observational humor that's what they call that so if we take away observational humor what type of humor is left but because that's the most critical humor are you creating constructive discussions is it going to be positive is it going to be constructive is there going to be something that comes from it is there a reason or is it for just a joke? flat line i would like to think eddie murphy's the shit with the he Michael, he's not the now, most so masculine man. Like that shit. I, mean, that's not I was weak at work. Like Prince is but not it's... the most masculine person. We all know that. He but if he would have said that now, that shit would have been a whole. What's wrong with him not being masculine? How think, come he got it? Not necessarily like his... because I don't think anyone really cares that much. Yeah, about I don't that, think but... that one would be the, the, as, as triggering as you might think on that one. You don't? I, I love, just feel like everything. I love Michael Jackson. Like and everything. This is I'm about to say she, triggering. I, I love Michael Jackson. I like guys who are not masculine. Like they're like I can tell you hands down. <laughs> I mean, like I like guys. Shut who up, are, PJ. Stop. I, like, <laughs> I knew where that mind was. Shut <laughs> up, PJ. I like masculine men. I like feminine men. Yes. I like masculine women i like feminine women yeah so like i don't really like a guy with some long ass fucking hair and nails painted and everything i can find him delicious as fucking fuck you got me fucked up that's what i'm that's where i see it's like a but i'm also a woman uh, who cross dresses so i don't yes, give up you don't you yes like yes. those gender things don't matter to me so if you're like mask like he's not the most no he's not no fucking terry cruz or whatever well, i can you tell you this I mean? pj like, I, i've shown her that stand up you're talking about delirious when he had the red suit on. Mm-hmm. I've shown her clips from that and she's laughed at him. Like the whole bit where he's talking about like his family at the house and the goony goo <laughs> and all that <laughs> shit. She laughs at that stuff. Ah. It's just parts in particular. Like I said, when that F bar starts getting dropped, it's like, I know yeah. you're not gonna fuck with that yeah, part. It's yeah. Like, it's, like, it's like Gary Owen. He makes black jokes all the time. Yeah. But they're constructive. You know where he's coming from with it. It's not a place of malice. But he's also not saying nigger when he's dropping the jokes. You see? 
or he's not even saying nigga, if that helps. You see what I'm saying? So he's he's so he's if if, if the Eddie Murphy segment that we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Now I know you're probably getting hit in that. Mm-hmm. If he had not said that for and just said like gay instead or something like that, if he had just changed a couple words up, it, it probably would be probably fine. wouldn't but then be also, as bad. Some of his jokes ah. are talking shit about people for being gay, like it's making yeah. fun of them. The stereotype mm-hmm. of the gay man. Ah. It's not okay. It's like if Gary Owens don't go up there and making stereotypes of black people, like. He like all my family. We can't. I can. I used to be on time to everything before I married my black wife. Now we always late. Then we would be like Gary. And that's nah. funny. I would still laugh. Like I wouldn't. But like I would take it so personally. But you like, guys why? like being married to a white person saying jokes like that. I'm like nigga, that ain't funny. You better respect yourself. Like check yourself before you wreck yourself. Don't ever disrespect me like that. <laughs> Don't ever think that because you married me that that makes you an okay position to make jokes about my people like that. Because if you some other white nigga on the street making jokes about black people never being on time because we on CP time, I would check you for it too. Know your bounds. Be so respectful. So the it. thing about that PJ. Yeah, is that she would feel that way, but then like you to use your date for example, he makes jokes. He's married to an Asian woman. He makes jokes about Asian women all the time. So apparently they must have some kind some of thing of, they talk yeah. about. Yeah, so like, I guess hey, it all babe, depends is, on. But that's different though because black people don't oppress Asian people. I'm not saying that there haven't been okay. racist outbursts from black people to Asian people because when COVID nineteen hit, there definitely were some black people acting the fuck up that dis- that right. disappointed me that? and made oh. us look bad. But as a whole, black people were not invading Asian countries or putting them in inter- internment camps and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Which white people did do. So it's not, we're not, there's not a a system of a systematic racism against with black people on top and Asians on the bottom. We're pretty much equal. What is the worst, what is the worst black stereotype you can think of that you just like it? That when I hear just, it's like, fuck you. Yeah. We like chicken. We like watermelon. We run fast. It's we, it's, it's it's hard for me to. We're not human. It, it's hard to think of like a man because a lot of times I, that was early uh, one though. Like that's what do you think? I have I couldn't come up with one for mine. What I hate, like I was like what I get the most sensitive towards because I get this on both ends. I get the super woke hotep niggas that be like white people are part. Animal, the Neanderthal, the ape, Neanderthal whatever. shit. Yeah. And I heard black yeah. white people call me Neanderthal for being black. That I, we came from apes and all that. We're subhuman and shit like mm-hmm. that. I don't like that term of, <laughs> of race making you subhuman or not human. Like I don't like that shit. Is that big enough? Like is that like one that like everybody knows? Like you're black. You got it. Like all black folks eat chicken and watermelon. Yeah, and shit like, like that. All that's... black folks are lazy or yeah, shit like that. Like if anything, like that might be the black that fathers aren't lazy. there for their children. That were criminals like that. or that were criminals. inherently violent. They don't. We don't. We're we don't feel violent. pain like white folks do. Ah, hmm. We do nothing but lay around and get pregnant. We're stupid, ignorant, all that shit. <sighs> There's a lot of things, bitch. <laughs> so I would I'm narrow it down sorry. to just one. Or that the black woman is seen as more masculine than. Other women. Her kind of or that we yeah. don't feel pain the same way white that's, people do. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. yeah, they did that with the dogs. Like, they whole experience. Like, I... Ah. There's so many. We have a lot to talk about this. The food part this don't bother me. February, oh, March. The food it's part don't down. bother it's me going to, yes. I promise you, it wasn't until I went to white school out in the small ass St. Mary's that I ever went to the school where they served so much fucking fried chicken and watermelon. Mm. That was in a white ass small ass town. I ain't yeah. never been to no where fucking we, where black we stay at. <laughs> Not far from here, over on South High Street. That yes. fucking Popeyes you, has a line going out the fucking uh, parking lot, mm. and it'd be white folks. And, and what other chicken place has, has yes. people lines all the time? Oh, raising kings, KFC. One that's true. Chicken place, yes. The Christian one. Oh, Chick Fil A. All I don't even people. think about them as a chick. White people I... be eating the fuck out of chicken, but always got well, to think Well, why? They fuck with Chick-fil-A because you know they, what they be on, though. They yeah. like, they must pork right. that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must yeah. pork that go. shit. Let's but go, all baby. the chicken places that we pass are always mostly white people in the lines. Because mm. oh, yeah. black people, we go to Wingstop. That's it. That's it. Or M&M's or, or Fishers. Or we do, fucking, we, yeah. We do go to Popeye's or we go to uh, Lemon Pepper. Well, that's local shit. He talking about like just everywhere. You got your churches, right. you got your Popeyes, Popeyes yeah, KFC, if KF. you're desperate and they yeah. shit out. So no. <laughs> okay, yeah. So mm. I don't know if y'all can answer. Yeah. Yeah, to add, I can't answer either. People are more aware. That's what I'll say, PJ. Just because you're aware, <laughs> though, does that give you? Well, some people feel some type of way about things now that they know more about them. Because, hmm. like, I, like with you. Mm. I still watch a lot of old shit. I can still laugh. Like, if niggas can't even talk shit to me, I laugh and just fucking crack back at them. Retaliation. 
Mm, right. If right. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of fucked up dark humor too, so yeah. it's kind of hard for me to answer. I watch Eric Andre. Okay, so. yeah, he's a. <laughs> And I would see hunger for it. Like I can't, yes. I'm a bad person to talk to. I like to. to come back with facts and stuff. Like I like to be educated and like hit them more. Because like when you make someone feel dumb as fuck, that's when they get sorry. That's mm-hmm. a, oh. Because right, if I sit down to my level, then they're just like, oh, I got you. You ain't no better mm. than me. But like, like literally, we used to have those. You know, the Christian mm. people who come into the colleges and be having the signs about abortion and whatnot, and you all going to hell. Yeah, yeah I would yeah, literally. Yeah. This is my favorite thing. <laughs> it's like because I know the Bible very well, not as much as I used to. I forgot. Like I used to remember what verses She's it well was. Well rehearsed. But I know yeah. like the yes. words. I just forget what verse it is and yes. shit. But I would be spitting Bible verses back to them, back to them, back to them, leading it all up, and they wouldn't be able to connect it and shit. And then I connected, but like. Yeah, so everything that you just said is bullshit because of this. Huh. And then they'd be... It's one thing. They, they would get mad and just walk away. That's what they would do every time. Uh, I'm like, no, 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 come back, come back. No, we're talking now. We're politicking. That's how yeah. she had it. You see, now you get me where I'm like, where she's the they go low, we go high thing. I'm like, uh-huh. I'm, I'm the we go low. I, they go low, we go to the fucking flow. Yes. Because that's how I'm going to come yes. at you. So it's like, I'm going to just be an ass. I'm going to fuck with them. So they're going to say something. She's going to do it and they're going to come to me. I'm like, you know that shit fake, right? I'm going to knock you See, I'm the I'm the knock you in your tip one. Brace and I, like he's he's on a net shot. Knock your tip, I'm gonna hit you in your ball. Right. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going a, for the knock on Chris going for the net shot. Oh, the perfect the perfect example, PJ. Yes. What was our response to anybody that did some stupid shit? What was it? Come on. Point and laugh. Oh. The patented bring PJ wow. point and laugh. Oh, yes. So that's the thing. Point, you laugh, you and go then you want about away. your day. You yes. Go. Yes. You stupid. Ah, why you dumb sound, ass. Why do you sound like ah, Takashi? Really? I was trying to. <laughs> no. that, was, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, that's me. I just straight be like, oh, you, you read about it? Like, you know, it's fake, right? Yes, just <laughs> fuck them up. Because what, what they going to say? <laughs> you know how many times that been rewritten? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, what version is that, nigga? That's it. What, 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 what version? Oh, yeah, that's even, Oh, the King James? Oh, that's like the stiff. Who the fuck? This Le, one right Le, there. LeBron wrote this, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Is that your hero? Is that who you're God? Who's the basketball player? Oh, what's, the, what's the next player? God. Like, that's the shit I'm doing. I'm being a super asshole. <sighs> y'all, have heard, y'all have heard it on the microphone, even, like, how bad. What happens when somebody calls PJ on the phone during the podcast? <laughs> he fucks with him. Ah, you're right. What, what, right. what was the one you said? What, what, <laughs> it, was, it was what I think it's one of the clips. He was like, you you reached the home video hustle. Where, oh, what the fuck? Hold on, huh? <laughs> so, you, I remember you that. Say? I remember like, that day. Well, we don't wax that ass and shit like that. <laughs> that ass and we gonna wax that ass. Yeah. Oh shit. Yes. Man, yeah. That's that. Me and she go high. Me and PJ go to the flow. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't. Because yeah. it's fun to fuck with people. I love being an asshole. It's fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. The asshole for free. That's PJ. A, yes. That was like 15 minutes. So we gotta get back okay, to the movie. Let's go. Over here. I don't even remember where we was at now. Loud cop jealous. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, uh, yeah, girl, he was flirting with the other cop in front mm-hmm. of his girl. Mm-hmm. And oh, and then he immediately goes outside. Mm-hmm. And there's well, actually this might be my second favorite part of the whole movie. Every part of this movie that I like involves punching. Because mm-hmm. he walks outside and there's a dude that just like stole some or he did something. He's running and your boy Spirit just punch, punch, uh, puts his fist out and dude just runs into it and falls over. Right, hands him back the briefcase. Or yeah. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just the second best part of the movie. Okay. <laughs> And the reporter comes up and is asking a bunch of questions. He starts flirting with her hard. Mm-hmm. Again, so like I said, just, if there is one, I will get the pussy one. That's his motto. Yes, I am that nigga. Yes. And, oh, I made a note, too, of old-ass phone. Because the police chief and the, the the young rookie detective chick that's with him, he says something. And she pulls out, the, oh, says my, like, electric complex. She pulls out the phone. Mm-hmm. It's one of them old school, like, joints where you flip the screen ah, up and shit. Yeah. And I was like, man, I remember that yes. shit. Fuck. Yeah, but they get to the crime scene where they where Gurley took the ass picture at. I don't know if we said that dude domed himself after he, we, they left. Did we say that? No, because after she handed him the picture, she's like, "Here, do something heroic for once." And she points it and gives him yes. a gun, like basically kill yourself, nigga. Yeah, and he did. And then when they show his head, he's like the whole back of that bitch is just crater exploded. Yes, okay. So they're looking at the crime scene. What do they? Oh, he finds the ass picture at the crime scene. He pockets it. Oh yeah, you ain't they ain't, they ain't getting that right there. That's not her. Yeah. You can't grab that. No, I'm gonna need that. That's that was my one. picture. Yes. I will enjoy this later. In he the said, bathroom. "Is that the ass that I used to look at? I don't know. Did I used to wax that ass? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's okay. And speaking of that ass, at the poker game, uh, uh, I, I did a poker game, not the poker, whatever. Mm-hmm. Sans Serif is at a poker game, and she waxes them out of some diamonds, basically, and she's putting them on, and she's like, "Yo, I also want you to send the octopus a message." Yeah, whoever can keep the rest of this pot, 
I just want the diamonds. Whoever yeah. got the rest of this pot is the one who can lead me the octopus. Spirit making faces over there. What's going on? Mm. Oh, okay. I thought you was about to say something. You yeah. remember this shit too? Oh, okay. She got quiet. Right. Yeah. Also, uh, She's here. Oh, okay. Right here. Okay. Here. Uh, my face be making faces sometimes. Your face be making faces sometimes. Put that shit on that work shirt. My face makes faces. <laughs> That's a yes. Um. Fuck. I don't remember this note at all. Oh, yes, I do. The octopus is talking to fuck. What was her name? Since Scarlett Johansson, her name was like Floss, I think. And he's talking to her about something, but at the same time, he's talking to her. He's got he's creating more minions, and one of them is just a head attached to a foot. Mm-hmm. What were they talking about? Any of y'all remember? No. They were talking about how it came out wrong, and uh, I remember they met. He mentioned something about killing the clone thingies but she was like we're running out of oh them. she's like we low we can't kill no more yeah but he does kill the foot one though he puts it in like a blender or some shit right he does something so he puts it he puts it some fucking where i okay you kill it <laughs> that's it okay and my man spirit he's walking around trying to figure out where sand surf is he got the picture of that ass and he's showing it to all these hotel like clerks and nobody's seen it but then there's this one dude that's like oh i know that <laughs> ass. Is- she I upstairs on the 15th that. floor yes. room three whatever the fuck yes uh-huh and she's there. And she's like wearing a towel. And he's like, yo, put these handcuffs on. She's like, all right. She dropped the towel. And your boy turned around. He's like, no, no, no. Fuck that. Put a robe on or something. Is it? If you if there was one ass. <laughs> okay. That you could say, no, I've seen that ass. I know that ass. I know that ass. That's here. Who would that be? I mean. See how that works? I just see how obvious. I just tried to toss it up. Oh, oh, you know, oh that, okay. That, that I, see, the, I see you, Tupac. That's a yeah. <laughs> Get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> Who got it? Toss it up for him. Hey. That That's my shirt. Okay. I do. Yes. I saw that ass multiple yes. times. Goddamn right. Yes. Like this morning. Multiple oh. times. White. Yes. No, from the front too. PJ. Oh, yes. <laughs> you can see it from the front. What about you? you? Okay. What ass you know, PJ? Uh, nobody's. Okay, keep sweat. Who got that reference? <laughs> Nobody. He not like me. He not incriminating himself no more. <laughs> yeah, I can't. No nope. incriminate. No more incriminate. There's a lot of people who listen to this that I just found out about. So Ooh. <laughs> we're just going to leave it at that. Well, <sighs> yes. P Jizzle. Uh huh. Well, well. Where was that? Oh, her husband is dead on the ground too. You never find out how or why. Well, she says he killed himself. Why? I don't know. But he dead on the ground though. Because she's like, yo, watch your step. And then he starts coming at her. He starts talking about, you know, all their childhood shit. She's like, now, nah, fuck that. You can't be him because I know that motherfucker's dead. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And then she gets mad and pushes him multiple times. And he ends up actually falling out of the fucking window. Mm-hmm. She said, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Glass break. Now die. Ah, yes. And he falls out the window, but his cake gets caught on like an elephant tusk statue thing that's hanging outside the window. Yes. And a bunch of crowd. A crowd comes by and they start chanting for him to jump. Yes. I did the third Do favorite it. part of the movie because that shit made me laugh. Okay. And then there's these girls that's like on the elevator. Mm-hmm. And they're watching him. And he takes his belt off so his pants are down. And they're giggling like, hee hee, I see his dick. Yes. And he swings across. He lands on the top of the elevator, grabs the top of it. And his dick is pressed against the glass. So the girls are like, ooh, I see dick. Yes. And then he climbs up. Mm-hmm. And he jumps across the building and he goes about his fucking business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, girl, he calls him on the phone. So my bad. I, I got to say this in there. He's like, yo. We found traces of industrial salt, so that must be but where some where the octopus at. I don't know. I just heard industrial salt. No matter no. Okay, that's all I know. Yeah, son, it was in the boot of yeah. the man that was dead. There you got go. you. Okay, yes, yes, yes. And your man's commences to just killing all the bumblefucks. He hits one with a snowball and then kills him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> One gets hit with the motherfucking sewer grate, and eventually he he goes somewhere and then. Uh, Scarlett Johansson is down there and he thinks he's about he's like, oh, okay, what's up, girl? And she he gets he, like trying to get him a kiss and she drugs his ass, hits him in the neck with that needle. Yes. Okay. She takes his what does she take from him? I don't know. In the needle? Like there was a reason she did that. Well, she drugged him to take him to the Nazi place they're about to be at. Yeah, there gotcha. you go. Gotcha. Okay. But before that, yes. Ellen, girly from American Horror Story, she's sitting in her office chilling and her pops comes in. And they start going back and forth because he's like, yo, you need to leave the spirit alone. He's just going to hurt you. And she's like, no, daddy. I'm the only one that can heal him. Mm-hmm. He need me. Mm-hmm. And he's like, whatever. Man. You do. Don't he this is it. heal yes. himself, though? 
But maybe he, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I got you. Right. See what she did. She yeah. technically, that's what they say is that. Oh, yes. you hurt, but you can heal. So I don't know why. Maybe she has to resuscitate him back to life to heal. Mm. I don't fucking. I don't know, know man. Don't it seems like she'd just be standing there, and eventually his heart just start beating again. She start jerking him off and waking back up. <laughs> hey, you're here. You're alive, I think right? She just All right, using that great. as an excuse because she has a code probably. Yeah, uh. probably. I guess she's rubbing his balls and he wakes up. She's like, "Oh yeah, you're you're mm-hmm. good now. Hey, yeah, yeah." What if she fucked him while he's asleep? Ah, fuck him back to life. Nah. Give him the kiss of life. <laughs> Sade, that's a reference for PJ. Okay, let's go. Okay, I got that one. Okay. That diamond like PJ. That's it. Okay. PJ. Huh? Uh-huh. That was huh? it. PJ made the balloons fall. Oh, he made the balloons fall? Uh-oh. Oh. He didn't get that one a kiss of life. PJ. No, he did not. <laughs> the spirit is tied to fuck up. No, mm-hmm. I'm not. Not yet. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> See how quick that shit is? Oh, it. Ooh, get get my self help tape. <laughs> Only five hundred and ninety nine ninety five. Get you or some today. That's new. A number. premium subscription to Only Friends. Only Friends? Yes. Okay, that's new. Because I'm in there too. Oh, but okay. Not with you two. Ah. You got your solo shit. You got the PJ class and you got the Brent yes. class. You got the spirit class. There you go. It's Polly P, all capital P's. Paulie PP. There you go. Because I'm always hard. <laughs> See, PJ's been in that class. He got it. Yeah, he got the words. Yes. PJ, mm-hmm. he's tied up and there's a dancing woman that comes out there. And your man's like, oh, okay, I can deal with this. And then she's like, no, shank his ass. Or she threw something in his shoulder. I don't know what that <laughs> She threw a comb at that nigga. <laughs> she threw a pick at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah, the octopus comes out dressed up like a Nazi. He starts giving a speech. Because mm-hmm. there's a bunch of swastikas everywhere, too. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Because Frank Miller, I don't know. Um, and this is where you find out the backstory. And I don't honestly remember. Yeah, I remember it was... He smoked... Whoever the fuck the spirit was before he was... He was a cop. I don't remember his fucking name. Yes. He got smoked. And yes. the octopus, I guess, gave him some concoction sure. yes. that, to test on him. Mm-hmm. And it brought him back to life. Mm-hmm. And so the, and the, old, the octopus was like, oh, it worked on him. So now I'll take it. Yeah. So now basically they're both invincible. Because the whole thing he's been going over, who's I am, we're like twins. We brothers. And he didn't understand that. Yeah. So he's explaining how he was his brother and how he got shot, but he was dead. But now he's revived because of him. And this is where we're at right now. There you go. Okay. So backstory done. Mm-hmm. And then you find out the whole plot of the movie is that the octopus wants the blood of Heracles or Hercules if you're nasty. God damn. There you go. Yes. <laughs> because this blood will supposedly turn him into the god, fully invincible. Nothing can stop him because yes. it's the blood of the gods. Yes. And so that's the whole plot. That's what he wants. For some reason, he melts a cat. I don't know why. He, he's showing him that he Ooh. no longer be invincible because he did the thingy to the cat. And it's like, look, the cat died. Oh. All right. Well, there you oh, go. Oh, shit. I didn't catch that. I don't even know what she's talking about. What was was the cat invincible? No, the cat was the the black cat, right? It was a white cat. Wasn't it? Or the it was a white cat that was in the thing. He didn't kill the black cat. It was like a striped cat, I think. That was striped. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. He didn't kill that one. No, it was a white cat. Okay. Well, hmm. <laughs> um, he the dancer. He tells the oh their plot. Is that they're going to kill the spirit and make sure he can't regenerate because they're basically going to chop him up into little fucking pieces. They're going to tear your pieces into pieces. Nobody, mm-hmm. nobody gets that reference. I'm not even going to ask. Um, <laughs> did I miss it? Did, did nobody know? Get some uh, old goosebumps reference. Uh, attacking wait, you, nigga. Goosebumps? Yeah, attacking the music. Like with the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the... I'm talking about the TV show though. Oh, oh, oh we'll tear your oh, pieces oh, into oh, pieces. Oh, oh, oh. Nobody see. gets that. Maybe one person. Uh, <laughs> Was that scary to you? No. I mean, okay, it wasn't. It was scary to me. Viewer beware. You're I just scared. Wow. Shit. Uh, reader that's beware. It. Reader. Yes, reader beware. <laughs> that's it. Fuck. So I'm about bringing that back. That show anyway. Making a new version. So you swear. I swear. So my. All right. Son, son. Right. He watches this show called. It's on YouTube. And it's called The Ninja Kids. The Ninja Kids. Yes. Right. And it's him watching a bunch of kids fucking play around. Like, literally play on a playground. Oh. Wherever the fuck they're at, they're just playing. Right. But they have 12 million views. Yeah, I believe it. Why? Because people like Felix are watching it. I mean, <laughs> what what the fuck does that... 
I can't let him watch somebody else play when we can go to the park. But he maybe he want to be involved in play but don't want to play. If you see what I'm saying. It's just like there's certain video games that I watch people play on YouTube that I kind of have an interest in, but I don't really want to play. But I want to see I want to see them play it. It's the Shit same like reason that. why people watch porn. Oh, well, he doesn't watch porn either, so. <sighs> I said people. Well, yes. Not PJ. He's not a people. Damn. Damn, PJ. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a people. I'm, I'm not a people here. Okay. I mean, what, 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 what? Yeah, I don't, PJ, I don't, it's a new world, P. I don't know how to That's answer that. That's what I said. Like, I don't, I don't like, get it. The kids will sit the there fuck? and watch. Why Disney? do people watch basketball? They can go outside and play basketball. Yeah. But they're probably not good. Like, there's always. <laughs> how do you know? Like, this how do you know Felix is good People that watch random. basketball are trash at basketball. How do you, think, how you know Felix is good at playing tag? Maybe he's not good at playing tag. He wants to see other kids play tag. Maybe <sighs> not that fast. Maybe those are his virtual it's, friends, see? PJ. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> PJ, it's a new world. I keep telling you this. <laughs> this shit, like, really got 12 million, 37 million. Like, their shit is. But they're just playing, and he's watching people play. Sometimes you and I told him get the experience of play without actually going outside. One of the highest. Not why I always want to go outside. One of the highest paid YouTubers is a little boy who does toy reviews. Ryan, ah, oh, you don't like him either. No, because he plays with fucking toys. Like he's PJ. PJ, get I got you. I got my blade in mine. Yes. Why listen to niggas talk about movies when you can just watch the movie? I mean, that's what y'all are doing, right? <laughs> but no, y'all come for the extra content. These niggas are really just playing with fucking toys got me on that, and right? giving the review, okay? <laughs> like, it's, there's no way little Ryan is playing with a... He gets the toy, he unwraps it. Oh, big surprise. Oh, what does this toy do? Oh, it can it can bend, it can mold, it can his arms can move. All right, like some niggas can't afford that toy because it's fifty fucking dollars. That's why you watch the videos. I can't get the toy. Who I thought watch. about this toy I in the first place? Without you posting <laughs> this shit, bro, nigga. <laughs> who would have thought about this toy? Nobody. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, PJ. I only thing I can say is that <gasps> tastes have changed. There is a there are people that will probably talk shit about me. Like I watch the video game YouTube. I watch niggas play the video games and shit. Those are video games though. Those take hours. Yeah. Playing outside is instant. PJ. As soon as you start running, you're playing. But I might not want to run today. Oh my. I might not want to go out there today. But I want to experience the outside. I don't want to go outside. <laughs> but I want to experience the outside. Oh my gosh. Okay. I guess I'm just having like Have a- you asked Felix? Just ask. He'll tell you. I did. What do you say? I just like watching them play. There you go. We play outside. But Nick, I don't want to go outside. I want to watch the people play. He's that's entertained. That's why we were at the when we were earlier. We, that's why we were at the park. I was like, no, fuck that. Now like, you're not watching niggas play. Like, oh my gosh, PJ. Yes, he's entertained by watching the children play. <laughs> Let that nigga watch the children play. <laughs> like, Daddy, I will go outside when I feel like it. Right now, I want to watch the niggas on YouTube. I don't understand. Leave me alone, Pops. I, I can't. There, no. <laughs> no, you will not watch the other niggas play. I refuse. There's no way. But what if he went outside and played with you, but then he go home and watch people play? Like, I was just outside, Pops. Oh. <sighs> Gosh, I Lupo, guess. Lupo, Lupo, right, Lupo, I guess, but it hasn't got to that yet. So we shall see. It will. What was I saying? The, the dancer, oh, they were going to cut the spirit up. Uh huh. And the dancer, he tells, the octopus tells the dancer, yo, cut, star, I'm going to start from low and go high. We should have cut his toes off. Um, Captions for this part. Unfortunately, there were no captions because I acquired a copy mm. of this movie. Mm. But, they, but to mm. keep himself from getting his toes cut off, he starts talking in French to the girly, and they start going back and forth in French. Mm-hmm. But the subtitles wouldn't help because if they didn't subtitle in the movie, they wouldn't have subtitled it in French anyway. It was just probably just said speaking French in brackets. So he says something to her, and she, for some reason, she just has an immediate like baby face turn. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna help you now. Yeah. And she cuts him loose. He starts fighting the octopus, and the octopus like go falls backwards or something. He's like, oh, that's all you got. And then one of the big Nazi statues falls and crushes him. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And so they escape. 
And when him and the girl, they get up there, she says something to him. She's like, oh, oh, you thought we was good? No. Stabs his ass. And then she bangs out. She starts dancing off. She just fucks off from the movie. And uh, he has another vision of the angel of death. And he ends up like, he's on the pier or boardwalk, whatever the fuck it's called. Mm-hmm. And he finally, because the whole time I'm like, Joe, if you can heal, pull the fucking machete out your chest and just heal. Why are you yes. walking around with it, you dumbass? Yes. So he finally listens to me and pulls it out. Uh-huh. He leans up against one of the posts at the boardwalk and it falls the fuck into the water. Mm-hmm. And he's about ready to give up. He's like, you know what? I'm going to finally fuck with you, Angel of Death. Right. It's I've been, my time. You've been chasing me. I've been avoiding you. But here, I'm here. Give me a fucking kiss because I'm that nigga and I deserve that shit. There you you go. know what? Pause that thought. I got bitches back on the other side. Yes. All right. He has visions of, he's like, you know, they say your life flashes before your eyes before you're about to die. But for me, yes. I just see visions of all the women in my life. You get a little bunch of, bunch of the heads at the bottom of the screen as he sinks down. He's like, nah, I got more fucking to do. So, you know what? Because cause the ghost is actually his, I guess we call it his spirit. Oh yeah, see there he it's is. kissing okay. with the angel of death, and then I guess he, the spirit pulls away because he's, he's now tonguing. yeah, Hell. and he pulls away because he's how has the spirit mm-hmm. to go back up and fight the octopus again, and she's pissed. She's like, one day, gadget, you'll oh, be mine. Shit. What's up, PJ? I see what you did there. Mm-hmm. He has the spirit to get back and go to his previous life. It's the, he got a Continue, stalker sir. now. Ah, yeah. he's so wise. So okay. can I try? Stop. Stop. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ellen brings the spirit back to life once again because he died because he breathed in a lot of water. We didn't say that earlier. Now I'm gonna have to bring this up. Mm-hmm. In the beginning of the movie, we going way back to the beginning. Uh-huh. Uh, what's her name? Sans Serif and the octopus are underwater fighting over them crates, and they're just breathing the fuck in like mouthfuls of water. You saw the air bubbles. Yes, Visible. and their mouths are open wide. Yes. And I'm like, him, sure. You can explain that away. Sure, you know, he he came back to life. How the fuck is she not dead? How? He has acquired... Oh, okay, let's go. A sense of breath control. Oh, okay, Kara. Through her travels. Uh-huh. That's all I got. Oh. So she's so good at using that mouth that she controlled that breath. Simply put, yes. yeah. Okay, so that's it. Yes. yes. There you go. <laughs> PJ, uh-huh. the spirit is brought back by Ellen. Uh-huh. And he wakes up and he's like, no, I got to go fight the octopus. What's up? She had the thingy of... Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, all right. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just I, kidding. I killed it before I... Ah. Okay. Well, PJ, uh-huh. the spirit is brought back. And uh, he, he wakes up and he's like, no, I got to go. To, I got to get the fuck out of here. I got to go fight the octopus. And he tells him, somebody give me a fucking tie and it better be red or I'll whoop that ass. Mm-hmm. God damn it. And so... Sans Serif and Floss, they meet up to make the transaction. They got the crate that Sans Serif won, and then she got the blood of Her- or Heracles that they won. Right. And they're about to, and they're trading off. But then uh, eventually, one of the Bumblefucks shoots her dude. And uh, right before they're about to have a big shootout, the spirit comes. And Sans Serif is telling Gurley, like, yo, don't fuck with the octopus. He going to kill your ass. You should run away now. But yes. and when the spirit gets there, the octopus comes out the truck, and they start shooting at him because the boy is just doing like the... The hero walked toward the camera and your man's just lighting yes. his ass up. And girly, uh, what the fuck was her name? Flaw, she drives off. She's like, fuck this, I'm out. Mm-hmm. And your man's just blasting the spirit. And eventually he pulls out these two big ass, like four barrel guns <sighs> and he fucks him up. Mm-hmm. He laying on the ground with smoke coming out of his chest. Mm-hmm. And so the cops that are standing by, the one girly got the, the rookie cop got this big ass, like missile launcher thing. And they all run out and they start shooting at the octopus. And he pulls two big ass machine guns out of fucking nowhere. Yes. And starts shooting at all the helicopters and all the cops and everything. It's a big ass shootout. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The police chief shoots the octopus six times in the face, like yes. we said earlier. Mm-hmm. Drops his ass for a while. Mm-hmm. But then uh, he wakes the fuck back up because he's invisible. Yeah. And he's going, to, while everybody's distracted, he's going for the vase. Mm-hmm. And of course, he fucks around too much and doesn't just drink it. He's like licking his lips. He's like, yes, this is my moment. And he puts it up and the sensor shoots it. Blood is everywhere. Is it? Like, yes. So that's what just the dumb. fuck is going on here? Yes. And then, who does it? Oh, girly with the mach- machine gun does it. She like, no, she doesn't. She doesn't do it. Who the fuck? Oh, the spirit wakes back up. And he, he pulls a grenade out. That's what it is. And he tells her, we're going to die together. But then he tucks the grenade somewhere where it takes the octopus a bumblefuck amount of time to get it out. Mm-hmm. And when he finally does, it just eviscerates that motherfucker to where you see it, like his skeleton and shit. Yeah, he just found the pin. He's holding up the pin to it. Yeah, the spirit was holding yeah. up the pin, but then he held up the grenade because he was like, yeah. fuck. Uh-huh. 
But then Sans Serif had like a, a fucking cape made out of diamonds or some shit. And she covered up the spirit with it so that they didn't die in the explosion. Yes, yes. Okay. And then they have their moment because he returns the locket. And she like slightly pulls back his mask. So can, but they don't show it on camera so you can see his face. Mm-hmm. Like she didn't know that was fucking him. Which is this bullshit ass Long Ranger you, mask. From somebody from a while ago, you would know that. Maybe I guess the last time they saw each other was kids, I guess. But I don't know. You like, like, you don't look that fucking different plus, from when I met you. You're right. Plus, you're right. though, that's he was it. supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's true. So, that's oh. true. I forgot about that bullshit. So then she, the she was like, yeah. yeah. But now she okay. knows PJ. Because remember okay. when they met up that one time, he was like, and he was trying to like talk to her or whatever. He was like, no, no, she was like, no. That's why she pushed him out the yeah. window. Yeah. Ever. Ah. Well, there you go, spirit there to fill in the holes. Please. Right. Fuck. Yeah. But my next note is that Ellen is sorty. Because this is where I told you she turned into the Morton Salt girl, nigga. We call her the Morton Mort- from now on. <laughs> because she came all this way into the line of danger, PJ. Because she like, yo, the spirit gonna need me. I'm gonna have to bring you back to life. I gotta give you that kiss of life. <laughs> and then she look up and see him and Sans Serif over there with the tongue firmly on the tonsils and shit. Yes. And like I said, go from Ellen to Morton. Because she's sorty, nigga. Yes. Oh, Morton. Yeah, I, de- I didn't know I know that word until you said that. Yeah. Like, fuck. The salt girl with the umbrella oh, and the, shit. Um, yeah. The pink umbrella. There That's you go. it. With the rain boots. Pink umbrella. What color is it? Yellow. Yeah. I, think so. I think it is yellow. Sure. Yellow. Yeah, there yellow you go. umbrella with the rain boots. But see, your man <sighs> with the smoothness, though, goes up to her uh-huh. and gets her right back on the team immediately. With the verbiage. Of course. Because I am that I am, nigga. I am the spirit. Yes. Yes, I am. There Ooh. you go. Only she could say that right there. Well, it's the it. guy in the movie, though. Ah. He's the spirit. Ah. Let's see what you And that there. worse. Yes. Huh? Mm. PJ knows. Oh. That's the key. I done forgot about the damn the horse key. movie. <laughs> yes. PJ, Floss drove away, but while she's sitting in the car, she sees, I thought it was his dick. But I guess it's like his index finger, the octopus's mm-hmm. index finger is crawling around. She picks it up and she's like, we'll make a better one next time or some shit like that. So sequel bait. She puts that shit in, mm-hmm. I thought, in her boob. She did. She's tuck it like in her shirt. Yeah. He like handling it. So he in there probably her just for a fuck with her nipples and shit, just tickling yeah, that shit. We're going. We're going. Yes. So, yeah, there's a sequel bait for a movie that's not happening because this shit was a bomb, biggity, bomb, biggity, bomb, 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 like I said. Yes. Bomb, 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 bomb. And then that the final thing that happens, your man gives a voiceover about this is his city. I'll protect it. I'll be back, but not in the sequel because this shit bombed. Mm. And that's the spirit, PJ. That's it. That's it. Okay. I don't know what to okay. do. Okay. I want to do my pen. I don't know what to do. My oh, pen. The pen fills. Me. I got many pens, but PJ. Yeah. In between the commercial break, I'll find yes. a pen. But first, we're gonna play ads. We're gonna play promo. Mm-hmm. We'll be right back. All right. It's time, let's check our cue, baby Pair it with a couple brews, baby We love good movies We love the bad ones, too So we watch them all and pass their lessons on to you Oh, yeah Everything I learned from movies Helps to make life a little bit groovy With a one last plot holes a gratuitous boobies It's time to get busy With your friend Steve and Izzy At eilfm.podbean.com So PJ mm-hmm. What did you think about the spirits? Um, slow to start. A lovely individual. The movie, PJ. <laughs> there you go. Um, it was slow to start. Right. Yeah. Eventually, it picked up. Right. Still had pieces. Nah. Pieces. Still had pieces. Oh, okay. Missing pieces <laughs> from earlier that I didn't catch. Right. But after it picked up, it was fine. Yeah, like it was <laughs> decent. It wasn't bad. Uh, Sam. Kind of made the movie for Best me. Best part of the movie. Okay. Thought it was only me. Nope. Um, ah. Say what you feel. Say it with your chest, partner. I don't think anybody's going to be mad either way with this one. All right. <laughs> All right. Me personally. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. Yeah. I would give it like a five. A okay. hustle bump. Oh. I would give it a six. If that's a... So five, yeah. six with the hustle. Yes, yes. That's 
Like it was straight. It was decent. I didn't hate it, didn't love it. It was just confused as fuck for the first thirty or forty minutes. But other than that, it was fine. Spirits, what'd you think about the spirit? Alright, so it gets a bump because it's named really? after me. Mm. Uh, okay, it's not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I thought it was kind of funny, actually. Like, I like the the I don't know. I got Deadpool vibes without as much humor necessarily, but it was kind of like the unfunny like, Deadpool. I mean, it was kind of funny. funny. <laughs> it, like, I found it funny because it was like so corny. Like, I find that like when they do the comic shit and that film noir stuff like hilarious, just because it's mm. like so. The fact that it's trying to be so serious always makes me like die. Mm. Like, it's like it's just funny to me. Mm. Um, and then also like. The women were fine as hell. It had Sarah mm-hmm. Paulson in it, and it um had Samuel Jackson. Right, which are two actors that I like a lot. Right. Um, I love the the um little clone people that they made. Okay. Those those dudes were funny. The bumble, I felt bad the for bumble them. cards. I felt yeah. bad for them, but like they were also funny. Hmm. I want to give it something like an eight. I know it's coming. Hmm. Seven. Seven. Mm-hmm. This is actually going to be funny how this is going to work out. Because, PJ, mm-hmm. I thought this movie was trash. I ain't got yeah. to say that in a okay, while. Okay, okay. This shit was whack as fuck. Mm-hmm. And I see why it was a bomb at the theater, because it's trash. Pretty much, like she said, only good things about this movie was the women and Samuel Jackson. The rest of it is garbage. Hide the garbage. Mm-hmm. But, like I said, it had moments. Dude with the 50 piece. Getting ran up and stole on. Those are two hilarious things. All the sortiness going on is funny to me. So it gets a slight hustle bump from the number I was going to give it just because of those things. Because I was thinking about, you know, I'll give it, I'll give it a slight bump. Okay. I'm giving it a four. A slight bump. Because it was, it was, okay. I, majority of the movie is about to be a three. Talking about it, I said, fuck it, I'll give it a four. Okay. So I was like, this shit's whack as fuck. Okay. This shit's an hour, like I said, when we stopped, it was at 134. This shit felt long as fuck. This shit felt did like it, it was for like you? for me. It felt like it was like two thirty four. It did. Feel I felt the hour like it was a no, solid hour. I, felt. I I won't say it felt Lord of the Rings long, but it uh, felt long. Okay, okay. I was like, this shit sucks. This is where we're at right now. Okay. But I say this is funny how this works out because in my notes it goes from four to five to six to seven. <laughs> ah, so, four to five with the hustle bump six and then seven to seven so it's okay funny how that works out okay because yeah brent didn't fuck with this movie brent thought this shit sucked all right so there whack as fuck whack as fuck i ain't saying i gotta say it all the time was trash yes okay i forgot to say that last week mm. but <laughs> nah. so there it is pj and mm. now i'm gonna get the cards because we got segments on this show yes we do hello guys did you expect that? I'm sure you expected that. Thank you to our Patreons. Steven. Steven Izzy. Uh, oh, great things oh, are on the corner. Oh, I know her. Uh-oh. There you go. Yeah, okay. You know this name too, PJ. So we got the Black History Flashcards. Vote that ass from Urban Intellectuals. Spirit, let him know who we got this week. Okay, so I'm going to have to update this because this card is no longer correct. Oh, that's true, ain't it? <clears throat> but. At the time. Today's woman of history is Toni Morrison. Mm. Let me hold on a second. You gotta get the dates right, huh? Mm. Yes. Okay. While she does that, PJ, pick a mixtape card. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just... No, fuck that. We've been... Any card. Pick a card. Any card. Any card that you want. Bow. All, All right. right. All right. I'll read that off when she's done. So, today's black woman of history is Toni Morrison. She mm. was born February 18th, 1931, and she died August 5th, 2019. Mm-hmm. She was an award-winning professor, editor, and novelist. First African-American woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature. She was a recipient of many awards, including the Pulitzer Prize, Pulitzer Prize and the NAACP Image Award, and go. the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She wrote many novels with strong African-American women striving to survive in a white male-dominated world as the focal points. She penned the award-winning novel, which I love, called... Beloved, based on the life of a runaway slave. That's beloved, right? Beloved. Beloved. I thought it was always beloved. Or beloved. Beloved. Oh, I'm just... It's the same word. (laughs) It's just different pronunciations. Yes. I never heard it pronounced that way. I don't know. Oh, or beloved. Damn. (laughs) All right. Okay. (laughs) 
Beloved. Uh, based on the life of a runaway slave who killed her daughter rather than have her return to slavery. Morrison's Beloved ranks 26th 26 on the American Library Association list of most banned slash challenged books because of its thought-provoking content. All right. And that is Toni Morrison. I will have to say that I did take a um, ethnic and women's literature class. Mm. And um, at first I was apprehensive because it was a white dude that was teaching it. And I was like, really? Come on now, y'all. That right. Really? Right. It's but- got- yeah. He was very, very qualified to teach that class. The insight he brought, like, he is very knowledgeable about, like, people of color, women's issues, his his uh, perspective he brought. Because we went over Beloved in his class. And it was, I actually had, don't hate on me, y'all. Don't hate on me. I read a lot of, like, Princess Diaries and all of, like, Toni Morrison growing up. So I hadn't read Toni Morrison until that class. <sighs> Yo. I am such a fan. It opened like, your eyes. Literally, like the whole dynamic of. Okay, uh, ruin. I'm ruining it. Spoilers. So if you haven't read it, just. I don't spoil it for the listeners. No. Uh, I don't do that. They don't do that. It's, they, they old. Might not... it's not new. They have Well, here, I'll tell you a spoiler warning. There you go. Like, just, uh, spoiler okay. warning, exactly. So, like, the thought provoking part. I mean, I kind of. <clears throat> she pretty much kills her daughter to keep her daughter yes. from going back to slavery. Yes. And it's just like people would think, oh, that's fucked up. You killed your daughter. But, like. How much of a hell she believed slavery that not just believed but knew slavery was that she would much rather have if her daughter be dead know, than to be a slave. How damn. much more peaceful death is over slavery? Like mm. that shows you because that was based on a true story. Mm. That's mm. Ba- that really incident seriously mm. actually happened. That was a real actual story. A woman really killed her children, so they went and go back into slavery. I'm sure plenty of them did. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the Native Americans killed their children to keep them up from being fuck. conquested by the I don't Spanish. know if I could kill my kid. Like, right now, if we were in Africa and the lands were to get raided, I don't think I could kill my son. But I if just you knew your, your son was going to end up getting raped, <sighs> enslaved, ah, brutalized, quit. and eventually killed anyways... No, I would be the nigga to jump overboard. I'm sorry. I mean, I would have been take too. somebody I out with as I, yeah. Somebody's going out as I go, but I would have uh. been. I would have been on that. Um, um, what's his name? Mm. Tussaud. What's his name? What are you talking about? What's his name? Tussaud. The, the who was the dude that led the uh, revolution down in uh, Haiti? Yeah, Toussaint. Toussaint. It's spelled T O U S S. A I N T is French, and I don't know I if it's Toussaint. I think he was on the flashcards years ago. Toussaint, Toussaint, Toussaint. Oh. I forget, but I would have been on his type of shit. Them Haitians, and there was a lot of witchcraft going on in that whole revolution that made that shit successful and shit. Uh, I'm just saying, us witches be holding it down. PJ. Yes. We got the mixtape card. All right. This week, PJ, and what song is going to play in this scenario? Okay. First Kiss oh. on a Bridge with the Biggest Crush from Your Youth. Sweetest Thing. Which song who sings it? You gotta let them know. Oh, Lauren Hill. Another Lauren Hill song. Fuck. I do always pick <laughs> Lauren Hill, week. huh? Fuck. I gotta choose something else. I just I mean if that's what you pick, it's fine. I just, I'm just it saying. Is. That's just what it you is. It is. Do that. Fuck. Damn. Yes. That is. Well, they, hey, is that that's your thing. That's okay. Shit. Sweetest thing. Man. We're just gonna go with that. What about you, Spirit? Or are you looking at us? First kiss on a bridge with the biggest crush from your youth. I got, I got it. it. I'm oh, going to oh, paint the okay. picture. Okay. okay. Paint that shit. It's Afrocentric. Okay. Oh, okay. It's ninth grade. We just met. You got your headphones. Okay. Run DMC on. Right, right. We're about to go hit the bridge. You're going towards the city going center. McDonald's. And there shit. we yeah. go. Okay, okay, yeah. We're about to hit that bridge. And a shorty comes up and asks you what you're listening to and what the fuck is going on. Oh, what would be playing? What would be playing for you during that? If she just caught me like on a bridge at random, not yes. knowing she was gonna do it. Yes. At that time in my life, probably mm-hmm. like mm, <sighs> probably like some fucking ghetto boys. Yeah. Because it would That's be that it? we can't be stopped <laughs> album, probably. Yes, okay. Yeah, okay. Don't say I didn't want you. Don't say I did. <laughs> Fine. Either, either either that or like some tribe, probably. Hmm. In that yes. scenario, hell yeah. Okay. In them days, yeah, ninth grade, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that's definitely, or yeah. Or UPMD even, maybe. Hmm. Okay. The Bozak. Okay. Fuck. Yes. You still, you still looking? What you got? 
the white girl is coming out of me. Oh, oh. I think she said that last time too. Y'all Taylor Swift. Said, what was that? A oh, damn. It's he a, called that. Boom. Sparks fly by Taylor Swift. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not hip. See, if I, I like, I always just try and go to the first song that comes to my head. So, first kiss on the bridge with the biggest crush of my youth. You know what's gonna play? What? No, baby, we can do it. Take your time, do it right. Yeah, we, we can, can do, do it, baby. It. Do, do it tonight. It's hey, a kiss, yes. not fucking down. But see, that's oh. the thing. The kissing lead to just fucking. Yeah. And we can do it. Take my time, and I'll do it right. We on the bridge. It, that's the only thing I can re- I can just picture him on the bridge saying, "Fuck this shit." Walking to McDonald's by himself. <laughs> like, where the fuck? Yes. Okay. Also, if you want to be honest that. on some real shit. Yes. And this is probably going to make sound bad, but at the time, it was probably what it would be. If it's a girl, honestly, if, if in PJ scenario, if, if I was in ninth grade around that time, mm-hmm. girl, because he went to Bridget was like, yo, I, I want to talk to you. I would have been like, no, because you probably lie. I wouldn't believe that shit. And I'd have kept on walking. That is 100% true right there. <laughs> that, yes. As bad as that probably sounds, that's where I was at. They didn't give a fuck about you hoes. That's what you don't realize. It's <laughs> okay. They give a fuck about me. A, oh, But see, you want God. the real answer, though. If I want it. Okay. Hold on. Oh, come on, man. I want to just play a little Wait clip of this goddamn okay. Spectrum okay. shit. Yeah, that's 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 ninth, that's ninth grade like a motherfucker. That's right a yes. Okay, that's what you... You guys didn't hear that. I had to edit out. Go watch the Patreon video. There you go. Uh, <laughs> you all saw it. But yeah, there you go. That's your mixtape for the day then, PJ. Okay. Who was that? That was Lauren Hill, Taylor Swift, and the SOS band. Boom. Eclectic choices. Oh. I'm going to be fucking y'all up every time I swear. Probably. That's a yeah, right? Damn. Who was our last time? I, I, think I, last I thought it was something Taylor Swift. You said Taylor Swift. No yeah, what it was, was Taylor Swift. I don't, I don't, I don't remember no more, man. I don't know. That's too long ago now. <laughs> Listeners tell her, I don't know. Okay. okay. Mm. Oh, speaking of listeners, PJ, we got a new patron. Oh. What is his name? I'm about to pull all that info. Oh, right? Because he sent a lengthy message. I told him I was going to tell you on air so that he can get his props fully. Oh, this is what you were calling me about earlier. Yeah. Ah. Harry. Oh, Harry. <laughs> Hello, Harry. I don't know if there was whole name out there. What's she, okay. what's she back there doing? Oh, she's trying to find that clip. Well, PJ, why she does that? Uh-huh. He says, I've been listening ever since I typed in I'm about it. And it looks like you guys are the only podcast to review it. Oh, and that was awesome. Oh, needless to say, I've been hooked ever since. Oddly enough, I pretty much watched every movie you all reviewed. I do pest control, and you're my number one show I listen to every day. Wow, I have a movie you just have to watch and review. Okay. It's called Volcano High, where hip hop and kung fu meet. 2001 movie, get this starring Snoop, Big Boy, Andre 3000, Method Man, and Tracy Morgan. Let's go. Okay. You ask, how is this a how in the hell is this a kung fu movie? Well, okay. it's a real Asian kung fu movie, but it's just dubbed by your favorite hip hop artist. Oh. The most action packed, funniest movie that no one has ever seen. Okay. Please, if you can watch and review, I'm at work right now listening to the unfortunate Lord of the Rings review. But you guys oh. make it bearable. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome, in closing, sir. I'll keep murdering these vermin and getting these checks because rule number one is to get the money, and rule number two is to never forget to get the money. You sir, you. Because you see this, you are a patron. Yeah, you can see it now, yeah. I thank you. We thank you. Yes, we, we. Do. You see All three. You can't that? see spirit, but yeah. you thank you too. The trifecta. The there boom. You go. We thank you. And you know the funny thing about it, PJ? What? Is that I love it because he's like, yo, there's this movie called Volcano High. And you're like, get this. It's this, this, and that. And I'm like, bro, I own this movie. It's legit. As I was okay. reading, I just looked over on my shelf upstairs. I'm like, it's right there. I own that shit. I see that and the fun, shit. The funny thing is I opened it up and I had the receipt still in it. Nigga, I got it from Media Play. Yeah. Throwback. Oh, Morse Road or which one? No, the one out here by Eastland Morse. Oh, I got fuck. that shit. I forget the exact date, but I saw it said 2000. I've had that since 2005. That sounds about right. Yeah. Oh, so when I, when I saw that, I was like, hell yeah, because that's the movie I have. Wow. Okay. I think we're in it. Sir, you might get your request a little bit early because well, I've well, never... I can't, oh. I can't do that because I, I told PJ, oh, yes, we yes. have to finish the first round of Patreon picks because some of them have been there since like 2018. We're here for I you. I think. Right. And so here's the homie Ben from Film Busters, KT and Odie from uh, Free Your Reference Podcast, mm-hmm. and then Angels from uh, Color Me Dead Podcast. I know what's up next, right? For Patreon, yes. It's that. It's Who the, is that? Who was Patreon? I don't want to say because I don't want to spoil it for him. I'll tell you. Ah, okay. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. those four right there, the more recent ones, you guys will be in the second round. Because we got to get this first round done. As I said, they've been waiting. People are like, yo, can I get my Let's next go. pick in, yes. please? Okay. okay. So we're going to get, because it's only like 
after this month, it'll be like one more month, and then it'll be all all new shit. Okay. And then we'll pick from the newer ones first, and shit, okay. so that you know they get well, their chance. We also say after that in April. April will be yes. done with the first round Patreon picks for sure. Okay. Because even though we got the one we had to push forward, that's still I think that'll make that whole month done. Boom. And then while we get everybody's picks, that month afterwards will be we also discussed too. At first, it was going to be a game to see who get to have a whole month. Huh. They decided in uh, probably May, yes. it'll be two picks from PJ, mm-hmm. two picks from the Spirit. And I think I have to look again and see, double check. I think it might be a five-week month. So if there's an extra week, I'm going to throw one in there at the end. Uh-oh. Yeah. That's one of them fuck it's. No. Y'all yeah. are watching this so shit. So it'll be 2-2-1. Okay. Fuck it. Okay. Not 2-2-7. Two, two, okay. <laughs> but, um, see what you did there. but that's what we're going to do. Okay. And while we while we here, I'm gonna give my the man's Ben for Film Busters. Okay. He I mean, I don't know if I ever read his to you. No. He said, Boy, how are we? I listened to I listened to my first episode of HVH today, Indiana Jones. I like your style. Oh. Everything feels smooth, chill, but wild too. Oh. Reminds me of my secondary school days. I think that's high school for you guys. Ah. Where, yes. So, yes, sir. So, okay. And he says, Well, me, my man's in them. <laughs> <laughs> We just sit back and watch a movie and vibe over it. You got a long-term listener in the making right here. Wow. Um, That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So my man's in them. He's, 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 he's black. I'm oh, sorry. So. It doesn't matter, so. you guys. No? I don't think so. Oh, my God. Says, it's my honor to be able to support you guys, loving the fact that there's full video accompaniments to the whole, with, with the whole podcast episodes. Like this shit we're recording right now. Oh, okay. okay. And I asked him, I was like, which movie you want to do? You know, you get a pick. Yes. And he's like, hmm, let me think about which movie to throw at you. There's so much potential out there. Okay. Gotta pick some fire. Mm. It's funny. You've already done some Lynch stuff. Lynch is my bag. So, oh. Mm. Oh. But then he finally told me what movie you want to do. And since we already spoiled Volcano High, well, I'll tell you what movie he picked too. This one I've never seen before. What is that? He said, my man, I hope you had a good 30th birthday. New dawn for you guys over in the U.S. because of Trump bitch ass being gone. Ah, okay. Ho- hopefully this old white guy will be better than the last old white guy. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> Sound like PJ. Sir? Okay. I'm going completely against type in my gut, which wants me to throw some real cr- uh, cr- surreal crazy shit at you guys. Okay. I got my pick. It's a fucking classic. A childhood classic. I want you to hustle Harry and the Hendersons. If I said I've never heard of Harry and the Hendersons. It's a kid's movie. Family movie. About a family that I don't know if they adopt Bigfoot, but somehow they get a Bigfoot in their family, and that's Harry. And the family is the Hendersons. Is this like and some Disney it. shit or like I don't know if it's Disney Nickelodeon shit. It's it, it's like that I think. Okay. I don't know if it's actually. Then I can look it up for you. Right? Oh, sir, you have okay. So we got a, a kung fu movie with hip hop dub, and now we got a family movie. Yes. Fuck. Okay. Family movies, those are always the best because if it's not action, guys, you know that it's probably <laughs> going to receive a low score, okay? If it's not action, if it's not guns blasting, if there's no hip-hop references. Oh, it's universal. What? It's a universal movie. Oh. So it's a studio movie. Oh. It's a, it got, okay. And I just saw it became a TV show afterwards. So it was on for three years, too, I think it said. On what channel? I don't know. I never know. I never saw it. I've never seen any of that shit. Oh, I thought they... Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Harry and the Hendersons and Volcano High. And um, uh, for your reference, they haven't <sighs> given us a movie yet. They said they got to think about it. But Angel did give us Orca the Killer Whale. Like a Jaws ripoff type thing. Oh. So, those are three things we got coming. The fourth, we don't know yet. But like I said, those will start the next round. We want to get this yes. round done because, like I said, people have been waiting for a minute. Yes. yes so we're going to get them done and then we'll get right to them. Right out the way, yes. And we'll start doing Patreon movies more frequently so we don't have this problem again. Okay. Of getting through these shit super late. For PJ. Yes. Let me give us some info, though. And what is that? We on social media, PJizzle. Mm-hmm. On Twitter, you find us at capital H, capital V, capital H, capital V, lowercase Icast, HVH podcast. See how we did that. PJ is mainly on Instagram at what? 614P underscore music. And you also got music where? At 614P underscore music and the SoundCloud. Oh. Oh, you got something else? A YouTube? Yeah, you got a YouTube page now with music on it. Pauly P, or nope, that's not the name of the actual channel. Paulist? You can type in Pauly P in a search bar and bring up, but you changed the name to something abstract. Paulus, P A U L bracket U S end of bracket. So it's Paul Us. Why is it Paul Us, PJ? Because that's my fucking name. There you go. But yeah. why the us in brackets? That's what I mean. People. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's what I was talking about. Because this is us. It's me and you and everybody together. There you go. People are going to say that and be like, Paul from the United States. <laughs> Paul, United oh, States. Shit. 
<laughs> yeah, usually it's a bull. Well, I mean, he is Paul. I gotta do something with that. <laughs> we'll work. We'll workshop this. Year. Yes, right. Now I, I, I gotta have more music on there soon. Right now, you just got the Willows on there. But I'm mm-hmm. gonna add the new demo demo on there. Go listen, guys. New demo the demo. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you got that spirits. Wow, she got the I same name on all the social media outlets. So where can they find you at? You can find me at the spirit nine five. That is the numbers nine five. I don't fool about. Don't spell it out because Mama. I don't know who the fuck that is. There you go. If you want to get robbed, oh, I ain't into making sex. Ooh. I ain't into making love. So Ooh. come give me a hug if you really need to get fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> PJ. Yes. That fifty cent. Yes, it was. Oh shit! Yeah, next week starts Black History. All right, PJ told me I was thinking about this. Mm-hmm. And um, for the first month, you said you wanted me to go back to the. We always talk about the original us essence of the hustle. You say that phrase a lot. Yes. You wanted to actually go back to the original original essence of the hustle. So we going back to episodes one through ten for next month. No bad. Okay. You come over. I go up to the video store and I pick a movie for us to watch uh, like we did in the beginning. Because you mentioned that you wanted to do that. Okay. So, okay. No, so no more random bad. That's the, the fuck it. This is what we're doing this week type exactly. shit. Exactly. That's what okay. you said. The one, I forget it was last week. Let's go. Before, but you said you okay. Because I'm going to pick. No, I'm, I mean, the month after that, <laughs> for February, I'm going to pick actual important to the culture of black movies. Okay. And then the month after that, we go back to the bag and that's where we can get the good goofy dumb when shit. When does... What's up? Coming to America come out. Because that is a friendship fundamental. I think. But it's also in, coming out. I think that's in April. Ah. So that's going to come there. Patreon. We might have to, damn, we might have to take a break in April. Just so a, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about that. They'll understand. Okay. They'll understand. Okay. But um, they tough, right? Yeah. Y'all tough, right? Niggas y'all skip right? every day, P. Ah. What are you going to do about it? But you going to unsubscribe? Please don't. Don't say that. Don't please. Don't. Please don't not. Don't listen to people. We love you. Okay. But yeah, I got I think I already have an idea. I know for sure two movies that are going to happen. Okay. Two for sure. For sure. Yes. Cause it's one one of them is one that we were gonna do in the bag, but then I ended up just watching on my own. So I was like, I can't wait on PJ. Okay. <laughs> but you've seen it before, so I didn't feel bad. But then the other one is one that I've been talking about forever because I know you seen she hasn't seen it. And it's one of my it has to be in my, if, of black movies. Yes. It is in my top ten, and it's not. It's one that doesn't get talked about a lot. I've seen You've it. You've seen it because your dad owned it. He had the tape. I remember seeing it. Oh shit! Okay. Um, All right. I don't want to say too much. I'll tell All you. Right. I'll tell Let's you off go. my. Yeah, yeah. They'll find out. But no, don't even. Don't even. Don't t- even tell just, you. Okay. Yeah, this is. But yeah, one of them. Oh, one's a Criterion movie. I'll say that. Oh. So yeah, okay. the other one's not, but it fucking should be. But we'll talk about that. To y'all later. niggas out there. Okay. And then the other two, I have ideas. But we'll see. Like I said, it'll be like the old days. You'll come over. Okay. I'll walk upstairs and I will come back down with a movie and be like, nigga, this is what we're Fuck it. This is what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> Just like the good old days. All right. That's for February. That's for February. And then March, uh-huh. the bag. I'll put, I'll, okay. put, I'll put the goofy shit. I'll put, the, I'll put more big movies in there. Okay. It'll be up to you. Okay. Okay. In February, you said you wanted to do the old school. Let's go. So we can get the big ones in yes, there. Yes, let's go. get some big ones in there. You know, okay. the Criterion one may not be a big one, but the director, though, is a big director. This is a spike. I'm or not it's saying like a nothing fucking... else. Who, I just don't know, which one, I don't know which one we're going to do first. That's the problem like I got to figure out. Okay. I one is it. longer than the other, too. So I guess it depends on what time you get here. That would help me decide which one I put in. Okay. But I'm, okay. I'm excited to talk about both because... One will give one is gonna give us a lot probably to talk about. Okay. I'm sure there'll be spirit rants in there. Mm. Not with the one that's my favorite one, but the other one, so criterion one, yes. What the fuck? Well, PJ, I will tell you off mic, or you can just wait until next week and find out. I'm gonna just wait till next week. I'm gonna just wait. <laughs> oh, oh, are you coming tomorrow? Yes. We gonna start tomorrow. I want okay. So fuck we'll, it. we'll find out which one tomorrow then even. Okay. So get hype, listeners. Black History Month is coming for that ass, February and March, because fuck that. Y'all want to give us the shortest that. month of the year? We're going to take two, oh, God damn it. God damn right. It's really Black History Month every motherfucking month, but for the podcast purposes, it's going to be February and March, and it's sporadically throughout the rest of the year, God damn it. Yes. So, come back and listen to that. Okay. And patrons, we'll get back to you in April. New patrons, we're going to get you in there too. But we got to get the old ones out first, because they've been waiting a long time. Yes. So, PJ. Yes. All that being said, there's just one thing left to tell people. And what is that? I'm Brent. I'm PJ. 
And I'm the spirit. Have a great rest of your Friday. Have a great rest of whatever fuck day you listen to. So I look like I'm about to backhand them up. I'm, I ain't it? mean to get all like home. serious. Like, yes. have a great rest of your fucking Friday. Okay. But, um, yeah, what, what, what did we talk about again? I forgot already. What the fuck did we just talk about? Oh, the spirit. That's how That's memorable it was. Oh, yes. Damn. Now, I did give it a fucking four. Or I, are, are you surprised? Four? No. Are you not entertained? That's it. Another movie I've never seen. Nah, that, that, that. that could be one. Ah, you got to think about these movie one. choices. Yes. Fuck. I okay. guess you got to think about it. Yes. Come back next week. Like I said, we got the block movie starting next month. Yeah. We got to record some videos too. So tomorrow, if you come back by, we got to get some videos. Yes. Got to do that. So until next time. Peace. Peace.